then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. After the Marine Corps, I was diagnosed with PTSD and became homeless for 15 years. Like a hermit living on the street, I just existed. I came to Wheeler Mission. Wheeler operates on a culture of kindness. Going through their programs reminded me that my meaning in life is to serve God. God set me free from anxiety and depression. Before Wheeler, I just existed, but today I live. Sprinkles if you got them. Jack's Donuts, find a location near you, now. Hey conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. We're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? Hmm? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! I get her! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, beautiful day here at Green beautiful day here at Gr uh, Greenwood, Indiana, here at Center Grove Middle School North, for a historic day for the uh, Greenwood uh, Cougars and the history of their program. The first uh, home football game in program history for them. All right, today we're brought to you by the Morales Group, Burtner Electric, IU Sports Management, Piper Logistics, and Reynolds Farm Equipment. My name is Chuck Levine. Joining me on the call today, the coach, Keith Myers. Keith, you know so much about uh, Greenwood and the history that they have here. Can you talk about what it means to... Uh, for a football program like this, having a, their first home football game? Oh, it's a great opportunity for the community. You know, you talk to people maybe four or five, even maybe three months ago, and maybe it was a question mark if this was even going to take place. They hire a football coach that was in Florida a year ago, and here all of a sudden here he has 18 young men dressed in blue, ready to play football, and uh, what an historic day uh, for us at Indiana SRN. Uh, I think this is the third or 14 that we have premiered on the first time uh, so it's kind of cool to see uh, these young men out and, and Fatum Academy just two years in the NAI High School Association so both teams had about 18 players <laughs> so yeah, duration we, will be a key here. Yeah I'm re really interested to see how just what you're talking about there the duration how that uh, affects the game overall lots of players just about every player on both teams listed with an offensive and defensive position coach what kind of effect can that have and what are we going to see from like what's that going to show us in the character and the drive of these teams 84 degrees partly cloudy they're hoping that cloudy comes more than partly uh winds are out of south uh east at six miles an hour 52 percent humidity uh, visibility is 10 the interesting thing is both coaches brought a set of uniforms 
for Casey. So if they need a player, Casey could either play for Greenwood Christian or Fatum Academy. It just depends who needs him first. But the duration, taking your time. You got 40 seconds in the huddle. I, I think you'll see a slow pace scheme. Uh, and I think turnovers, if a team gets down early, it could be over quickly. I see. Uh, definitely could play a factor today. We're just going to have to see uh, who can who can really dig deep once we get down in the trenches there. It's going to be certainly a long day, a hot day, and I'm, I'm interested to see how this, uh, how this one goes. You know, I think one of the keys that we have to really look for that is the quarterbacks. I think the quarterbacks are a skilled position that can control uh, the line of scrimmage, can control the game, and all those things, and that's key for uh, Greenwood Christian. They have a freshman quarterback, uh, Trey Dotson. Yes, he is the uh, Suns coach. Uh, you know, he's just a young freshman. You look on the other side with Fatum Academy, their quarterback, he's just a junior. Uh, well, actually, they're going to start the senior, which uh, th there's a, uh, a an interesting factor there, and, and that that's a determining factor because of the age and the maturity, uh, though he's only got two years experience at varsity football, mm -hmm. that determination is very uh, uh, vital today. Yeah, something else I noticed going back to both, you know, both teams having to play offense and defense, uh, tr both quarterbacks are also lined up as uh, defensive backs. How does that play into, you know, reading passing lanes and really understanding, you know, the flow of both offenses? And to be honest with you, I'd rather play defensive back than a quarterback, but here all of a sudden I'm a defensive, I can read the play and now all of a sudden now when I'm on offense I can almost see that sc same scheme defensively it's a, that's a great uh, strategy move if you ask me yeah we are gonna see a great matchup today two young teams two absolutely packed with just excitement I'd imagine I mean a great crowd today here at uh, at Center Center Grove Middle School North like we said, the first home game for Greenwood Christian, and they certainly brought the numbers, packing out the stands, blackout from the students, and we had uh, heard, so at, excuse me, heard there was uh, some fun, uh, some tailgating going on in the parking lot as yeah. well. Yeah, you know when we got here, when we got here at one o'clock, they were already tailgating. They, I noticed it. Casey set up very quickly, and he went to the chicken line. I noticed that very quickly. Yep. It, it, so if you're out there in the tailgate line and you're watching. Uh, chicken sounds good to me right now, right about now. All right, we'll be right back here. Hi, you're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN. I'm Keith Myers, Vice President of Indiana SRN. Thanks for joining us. You know Indiana SRN broadcasts 350 games a year. All sorts of sports. Yeah, we do. Hard to believe, isn't it? Indiana SRN loves to put student athletes first on our website. If you're a business out there, we probably could help you too. Contact us at coach at indianasrn.org. Grandma from out of state thanks you. Mom and dad who can't get to the game thanks you as well. In fact, our athletes watch the games over and over again. Our military has enjoyed the games as well. So sit back and enjoy the game. It's Indiana SRN. All right, we are back here watching high school sports on Indiana SRN. My name, Chuck Levine. Again, the coach with me today, Keith Myers. We have our meeting of captains going on at midfield. You know, that Chuck, you know, I did that for 20 years. And, you know, it's a thrill every single time you get to you talk to the kids, let them know how, you're, how your crew is going to call the game. You look at the coin toss, and, you know, today is kind of a special day. These Greenwood kids, I mean, they're going to be able to say many, many years from now, I was the first kid to call it heads or I was the first kid to call it tails at our game, and we had 18 players, and people are going to look at you and go, we have 70 kids on the team now, Coach. You know, yeah. it, it, that's, that's, that's kind of special. Yep, Tyler Wigan out there with Eli Cheddar for the coin toss for Greenwood Christian. You know, you look at the keys of the game here. The, the, we talked about uh, the heat of the day, but you look at the, also, uh, you know, turnovers are very key as well. 
Uh, and, you know, as the coin toss is done there, you saw that Greenwood Christian won to toss and has elected to defer. So, uh, Fade and McCallery, we will see them on offense right away. This is a big deal, Chuck. You know, it's a big deal because the dean of all sports writers from the Indianapolis Star News is here. So, you know, it's it really a big, big deal. deal when he's here. He's got his Dr. Pepper. He's got his nachos. He's got his binoculars ready. I mean, I think I'm going to give him my headsets uh, maybe a little bit, a few minutes, have him do some games for you. But, you know, the, the assignment that uh, this Greenwood community has brought to this program is pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. A huge day here for both program, or for especially for the Greenwood program. And a big uh, opening opening game for them. Certainly excited to see what the uh, offenses have in store for us on the uh, opening drives here. Yeah, again, this is week two. So both the Greenwood team played, I think they played at Brownsburg. They play uh, because they're new. They can play almost, they got so many young kids. They can play freshman, JV, or varsity opponents. Uh, this is a varsity opponent game for them. But they played at Brownsburg last year, uh, last week. Only went to a half, but was up. I think they were up 30 to zero or 35 uh, zero at halftime. Fatem Academy uh, uh, played Indianapolis Cecina uh, last uh, uh, last week. Lost 56 to zero. Uh, for Fatem Academy to play Indianapolis Cecina uh, is amazing to me. Yeah, Cecina is uh, ranked in the Indian SRN polls. I do believe they're third in the poll. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. We have them ranked pretty high, so coming back from one team looking to come back from a, a big loss and one team looking to see if they can finish off the whole game here. You know, you look at this crowd and you look at the kids. I mean, the, the student section, to me, I mean, it starts from the, the top of the stairs all the way up. It is amazing to me how many students have come to watch this ball game, but the community, as the public announcer told us yesterday, if it was Tiddly Winks, the community, the community would come and support it. Uh, and if you're an athletic director or an administration, uh, you got to really be happy about that. They just welcome us, and uh, I, I notice we have some fans. And maybe next week uh, or next time we're here, they'll have signs. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be great. Certainly, we are happy to be here. Like you said, welcoming another program to our broadcast. And we will be right back with high school sports on Indiana SRN. Hey folks, good to be with you for tonight's game. My name is Andy Simpson and I'm a licensed IHSAA football official and welcome to Friday Night Football powered by Indiana SRN. On behalf of the 340 football officials, the IHSAA, the crew here at Indiana SRN, we hope you enjoyed tonight's game and more important, don't forget to subscribe to the Indiana SRN YouTube page. As you're watching tonight's contest, I'm going to show you a few of our signals that will help you better understand the information we are trying to convey. Touchdown. Safety. First down. Holding or illegal use of hands. Encroachment. More offsides commonly known. False start or illegal formation on the offense or a freak kick, scrimmage violation. Face mask, intentional grounding, roughing the passer, clipping, illegal shift, illegal motion, illegal block, pass interference by the offense or the defense, delay of game, and the one signal we dislike and you as fans don't like seeing, unsporting. We'd like to thank everyone for tuning in tonight and following us on Indiana SRN. You can also tune in to the Football Weekly Show and Coach's Show every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. on IndianaSRN.org. Finally, if you've ever thought about becoming a high FSA www.ihsaa.org and click on the Officials tab or call the IHSAA office at 317 846-6601. Now, sit back and enjoy the game.
All right, we are back here at, excuse me, at Center Grove Middle School North. Getting ready for kickoff here between the Phelan Academy Falcons and the Greenwood Christian Cougars. You know, you look at the, the, the highlight, we looked at the officials that give us signs and stuff. Uh, we, when we talk through, uh, when we go to schools, they really like that because people watching the game now are, feel like part of the game. The most important thing that we have to realize is these officials are working this game. They're doing their best they can. You know, they, they yep. don't wake up in the morning and say, how do we, you how know, do, we do this? Yeah, mess <laughs> over another school year, yeah, right? This yeah. is it. And, uh, you know, so let's support our officials. And if you're interested in being an official, you can contact the Indiana High School Athletic Association at IHSAA.org. And we want to thank those. Then. And I want to thank personally Andy Simpson helped me with a rule yesterday. Hopefully we won't see it today, but I think I can call it right today because I now I know the rule. All right. Sounds good. So we are waiting here just for the kickoff from Bo Campbell. Two back to return for Phelan Academy. That is touched over the head. And he is get brought down for the tackle. That was Daniel Honeycutt on, on the tackle there. Nice job by him on special teams. And the baby powder is now part of the game. Oh, yeah. We are, I think, uh, I'm, I'm a little covered a little right now. Thank you to the athletic director and the athletic department for the baby powder. Yep. I, don't, I don't even have to shower now. I'm good. Oh, yeah. That was Kalik Abel on the return for Phelan Academy. So first play of the drive, first play of the game. Back is number nine, Jaden Jones. Quarterback today for Phelan Academy. And we have a pre-snap flag as a false start. So they are going to move it back here. So that's a, an error early. So now first and 15. And let's see if they can overcome that. Yep, definitely going to have to find something here on first down. Snap is off. Jones running out wide. He's still looking for room, able to get out. Able to get out of bounds. Tackle by Jacob Schleesting for the Cougars. What they they give gained gain five. All right, gain of five. So we're back to the tens now. Second and ten. Now they got their regular down yardage. We'll see if it's very interesting. Oh, okay, the chain crew move move the chains. Everybody's new to this game. Yep. I mean, this is a, a first all game, new first home game in program history. Certainly, uh, everyone's still got to figure some things out. Yep. There you go. So here we are now, second down and ten. I kind of cool. I think it was kind of cool. The officials just teach him. That's a great teaching moment. Yeah, great job by the officials there, and another pre-snap flag. Looks like we might have gotten some encroachment. Yep. By the defense, so we're gonna march it up five. Second down and five. When we get our next offensive play here. Running back back there, Jeremiah Thompson for Phelan Academy. He'll take the snap. A little fumble there. Hard to see who's got it. Looks there. like Fadum co covered it. Fumble for the Falcons. And number nine, though, recovers it for them. Number nine, Jaden Jones. Yeah, Jaden Jones given the fumble there. Looked like some miscommunication with his running back. Ultimately uh, able to fall on it, so they... Keep possession, but don't get any yards there. Crucial third down coming up. Yeah, you know, third down at about three. It's 
score clock at 10:26. Boy, the sun is really affecting that. Yeah, it looks our, like our score cut a little bit. Snap there, successfully handed off now up the middle, and he's got room to run, breaking a few tackles. Nice job there, Mike Marquise Graham, running back and defensive lineman today. So we'll see uh, a lot of tough battles from him. Picks up the first down for Phelan Academy. Nice replay there by our producer, Casey McMaster. So first down and 10 here. And the clock has started. High Assist snap. by the coach. High snap there. Able to successfully hand it off. But the ball comes out. After. Ball comes out on the way down. And it looks like Greenwood Christian picked it up. McIntyre picks, picks up the fumble. Right. Getting the replay on that. Hard that's to a, see there. That's a pop hit, though. Ball definitely comes out before the knee touches the ground. Picked up by McIntyre. Great job there by the Greenwood Christian defense. And everything's the first for Greenwood Christian, right? Absolutely. So that's the first fumble. First, that's first, first recovery. fumble. First fumble recovery. <laughs> first broadcast. How about that? How about that? See, Chuck, when you become an ESPN in a couple years, you'll remember that. I'll still be here, Chuck. All Don't right. forget me. <laughs> I promise I can't. All right, so the first play of the drive here. And another pre-snap flag. And he knows it. That's uh, offside, on the a offside by George Walls right there. George Walls gets to go double. All these teams get to play two positions today. He's an outside linebacker and a defensive lineman. Just uh, He was anticipating a snap and just didn't get it done. Yep, it'll, certainly going to be aggression from both teams early. Going to have to see who can set the pace. Greenwood Christian under center. That's Trey Dobson. Got two in the backfield. And he trips on trips on the snap. He'll go down in the backfield. Coach, is that going to count as a sack there? You, you have to count it as a sack because he doesn't. He loses yardage, but he trips over the the foot of his center, and and that is not good. Have a timeout by Greenwood Christian. All right, we'll be right back here watching high school sports on Indiana SRN. They say nice guys don't finish first, so maybe it's time to reconsider what it means to be first. It's about being your best, but knowing you could be even better. It's being present, but respectful of history. You sure you want to make that move? It's donating something more valuable than money. It's believing in yourself. It's something bigger. It's coming from different families. We're treating each other like brothers. It's not just being a man. It's being a mason. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. We are back here. Opening drive here by Greenwood Christian. Trey Dobson trying to roll out wide, looking for something. He goes down, looks like he picked up one or two. Again, the b bad snap there. Couldn't get center, couldn't get it up. So that ball was down on the ground, and he was running for his life. He had three, two yards. All right, so gain of a couple. Third down here. And long still to go for Greenwood Christian. We'll see if we can get a clean snap off, if they can uh, get one playoff here successfully. See if they can uh, open up passing lanes maybe. Got four out wide, three on, three on the left, one on the right. Just one out. Back behind him, he hands it off, but a uh, fumble, but he's able to pick it up. Trey Dobson's got room to run. He's making some moves. And a successful first down, but a flag on the play. 
I think you're going to have a hold here uh, on the offensive line. Yeah, we see the replay here. Yeah, looks like uh, a hold definitely. How about this move? Yeah, great move there by Dobson. Once he was able to get room to run, he certainly made some nice moves. So we got a personal foul. So you got a personal foul, helmet to helmet contact, which is a 15 yard penalty. In college, they call it targeting. So right. we would watch a video and see if it was uh, violent enough to eliminate a player from the game, but not here. Certainly, I don't think there was any intent on that hit. Nah, he just. I think they may throw the ball here. <laughs> yeah, certainly only one guy back and a whole lot of yards to pick up. They've got four out wide, and they'll run it up the middle. Had some open space there. Got back to what was, I believe, the original line of scrimmage. And was there a fumble? He was swarmed on the tackle. It was a fumble on the play. All right, so the Phelan Academy Falcons take over. Both defenses forcing fumbles early. I did not see the fumble on the ground. Sorry about that. So both teams now have a turnover. And like you said in the pregame, Coach, turnovers could uh, t write an early uh, ending to the story here. You bet. I have to see what Phelan can do on their second drive here. They send receivers wide, one in the backfield. They'll hand that one off. He's got room to run, and he's breaking one down the sideline. He's going to – he's – Got room, attempted tackle, breaks one, stays in bounds, just pushed from behind. Great run, Jeremiah Thompson picking up a whole lot of yards for Phelan Academy. Forty-five yard run for Thompson. Yeah, Jaden Garrett on the uh, eventual stop there for Greenwood Christian. Here's a great replay. See breaking tackles, Jeremiah Thompson head down and running. Even able to break a tackle. Nice job keeping his feet in bounds all around. Great job. How about high stepping it, huh? Yeah, he sure was looking for the end zone. First so, down and goal on to six. Yeah, first down and goal in Phelan Academy looking to score early. Jones, the handoff. No, he keeps it. He's going to look for room to run, and he's got it. Nice job on the fake there. Touchdown for Phelan Academy. Jaden Jones on the keeper. A little fake handoff there. Had a very successful run play on the previous one, so busted a fake, and they got him pretty clean, able to walk in relatively untouched. Good job there. Jones did, just did a nice job, misdirection a little bit. Offensive line did what they needed to do. So Phelan, Phelan wearing uh, the line of scrimmage right now. Yeah, they sure are. Getting set here, looks like they're going for two. Trying to extend the early lead. Oh, now they are oh, going no, to they, one. They are going to kick it. Bersanji Domingue back to kick for the Falcons. Clean snap there. Kick is up, and it's good. So, a quick seven points off the turnover. Great job there by Phelan Academy going down with the quick score. And we're going to come back here for some more high school sports on Indiana SRN. 
Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student-athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org officials today. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at Indiana SRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now at Indiana SRN. All right, welcome back to this Indiana SRN broadcast of the Phelan Academy Falcons taking on the Greenwood Christian Cougars here at Central Grove Middle School North. Our score is seven to nothing after Phelan was able to score huge run there by Jeremiah Jeremiah Thompson or excuse me uh, Marquise Cr Jeremiah Thompson had the the big run picked up 45 yards and then their quarterback Jaden Jones able to uh, essentially walk in for a touchdown nice job there Domingue to kick for the Falcons. Yeah, the scoring drive, uh, uh, five plays, six-yard run for the touchdown point was good. And with uh, 7 13 left, one nothing, uh, it's one nothing, how about 7 0? 7 0. I'm thinking Little League baseball. Yeah. <laughs> Two men back to return for the Cougars. Nice kick there. He's going to pick it up, and he's got a little bit of room to run. He makes a move. He cuts down the sideline. There he goes. He's got a ton of room to run there. Touchdown, Greenwood Christian. Nathan Goins, what a, what a return. Greenwood Christian, their first touchdown in program history here for a home – or first home game touchdown at least. See on the replay there, nice kick. Caught cleanly by Goins. He picked it up and just uh, he found the room. Nice blocks there, and he was gone. He picked that up at the 10-yard line. That's a 90-yard run. Yeah, 90-yard <laughs> touchdown run. Congratulations, Nathan Goins. Huge for them. First kick return touchdown. And it looks like they are on for the kick here. You know, being a first-year program, having both teams kicking the ball for the extra points is pretty impressive. Yeah, it, Charlie Overton out there. This is a long boot for an old man. And it looks like we got some pre-snap movement flag there. Offsides on the Falcons. Like Move it up two yards here. So now they're going to go for the two-point conversion. <laughs> Trey Dobson under center. He's going to hand that one off. And up the middle again. Goins in for the score. So Nathan Goins does it on the kick return. Gets a chance to do it on the two-point conversion. All right, and we're going to come back for Phelan's next drive. You're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN. You want a career that will transform your life while you change the lives of others by helping them live well. With a health or exercise sciences degree from IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the healthcare industry while preparing you for a variety of graduate and professional programs in health. And with Indy as your classroom, you will have clinical options within leading hospitals right in our backyard, as well as a degree from Indiana University, reputable leaders in the healthcare industry. It all starts here. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. We 
are back here. Score now eight to seven. A quick kick return touchdown by Nathan Goins, and then he followed up with a two-point conversion. So after uh, two two turnovers for the first two drives, we get two touchdowns on the next two. Yeah, you know, you look at the back and forth of this, and it's pretty impressive. We talked about just this the vibe of this game and everything's the verses and it's interesting i mean a 90 a 90 yard run is pretty impressive yeah that was he certainly just put his head down and you know he only had one destination he found it waiting for the kick here from bo campbell oh excuse me a little uh kick there short kick there picked up and able to get even more yards there evan mcintyre a little onside kick. We'll see if it. So great job there. Caught Phelan Academy sleeping. Weren't expecting an onside kick right after the uh, touchdown drive. So now maybe we're going to see uh, a, a few more plays from the offense here of Greenwood Christian. Very heads up play by Greenwood C Christian. Count your uh, coaching staff is seeing something up up here to say, hey, let's try the onside kick, and it worked. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, always always a surprise, and especially, you know, teams don't line up for it. You just never really know what's coming. So great job there. And, again, a young program executing what can be a really tough play uh, to perfection. Made sure the ball went far enough before anyone touched it. <laughs> I hope we got Great. that on film, but the the kickoff retrieving young man sprint all the way out to the yard, get the get the tee, and came yeah. back. Yeah, did, great we get job. That, did we get that? To, no, we didn't get that. Okay, no problem, Casey. Number first, he, he'll remember that. Oh yeah, and a great great response by the crowd as well. And now we have an official timeout for water. We'll take a break with them. It's Indiana SRN where you're always in the game. Burtner Electric Incorporated has been proudly serving our residential and commercial customers with quality electrical repair for over 33 years. We are fully licensed and insured in electrical wiring and electrician service packages. You'll receive a competitive assessment, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, first time or long time customer. We offer free estimates for any new project. Call our licensed and experienced electricians today. Can't make it to the game? We've got your back. Just go to www.indianasrn.org and tune in to all of the live action or go to our on-demand service and relive your favorite moments. Right, and we're back here, an exciting game early, just a little under seven minutes to play in our opening quarter here. Seven to eight, or eight, seven, our score, Greenwood leading. Seen a lot of heads up play, both teams coming out aggressive early, a 45 yard run, uh, and then a quick touchdown for Phelan in their second drive. As we get underway here. Run up the middle. That's Evan McIntyre again. Picks up a few. Pat Cherry is, uh, and his staff is ready, ready to provide 40 years of service and trust, expert knowledge, and your insurance need. Visit him today on patcherryinsurance.com. We want to thank Pat Cherry for being a sponsor of Indiana SRN. Pat Cherry Insurance. So the handoff, no, Dobson fakes the handoff here, and he's got room to run on the outside. Trey Dobson finds some blocks. Finally goes down, big pick up there. Abel on the tackle, or that's six. All right, so a big first down there. Again, this drive starting after the onside kick by Phelan, or excuse me, by Greenwood Christian. Ah. 
Another early f pre snap flag there. Looked like offsides. offsides by George Walls, number 52, there. George is trying to anticipate the snap and just yeah, got there he, too early. He wants it just a little bit too badly there. <laughs> So he'll switch off with Sharon Thompson for the Falcons. As we talked about earlier in today's game, you know, you want to get in that huddle. You have 40 seconds. Take, take some time off the clock. Yep, so first and five here after the penalty. Dobson keeps it. He's looking to roll out, looking for a pass. He's under pressure, gets the ball off. Unable to make the catch there was Jaden Garrett. Ball just bounced it, just a, a little short of him. The rollout was good. I, I think his, the, the secondary receiver, uh, his first choice was covered, so he tried to go deep. Yeah, just couldn't get it off the uh, back foot there. Again, that was Aaron Howard on the pressure. Yeah, and we're Phelan. talking about freshmen. You know, we're talking a young man, you know, two years from now, even a year from now, in the weight room, he'll be able to make that pass. Absolutely. And and impressive for him to know to make to make that read. Even. Well, he, he has his mom's athletic ability. I'm sure that's why he's got that. All right, and Dobson rolling out again. Shovel past the McIntyre, dropped, picked up again by Dobson, ultimately wrapped up. For uh, looks like maybe a loss around four. Whoop. Looked like he might have been looking for another pass there and just a uh, last minute, last second shovel pass. Good job by him, able to pick up the fumble. So now a third and long here after what had been a uh, favorable yardage on a previous play. Coach, like you said, got to take your time in the huddle. Make sure everyone has the play down. Make sure we're doing the right thing. Know the snap count. So we see Goins in the backfield again with four wide. McIntyre in the slot. Dobson under center, hands it off to Goins. He gets by a blocker. Picks up the first down and gets out of bounds. Well, you spread that offense at wide, so now you know you got to be, you got to cover four guys wide, and then you go in a sweep formation. Great strategy by the uh, offensive coordinator there, opening up space for his running back Goins, and we know once Goins gets going, it's hard to stop him. Goins gets going. Oh, I yeah. like it. He, hey, I mean, a it's catchphrase right, already. It's right there. I couldn't <laughs> couldn't miss it. Checks, checks right there. All right, so they'll take that. Start out at uh, first down here. Not, not quite to the goal line. So first and ten. At about the twelve. Pre-snap whistles. And I don't know why they stopped the play. Yeah, not sure. Uh, mouthpiece. Young man, right. mouth, mouthpiece was out of his mouth. Got to get that in. That's safety. All right, so here they are again. Everyone spread wide. McIntyre in the backfield. He catches one. Looks for a block. But brought down by number four from Phelan Academy, Marquise Graham. To get about a yard there. Positive yards are important and very important here. Absolutely. You got to make sure that you're still uh, picking up yardage in the red zone. And it looks like they can get a first down here, uh, Chuck. They can get to this two-yard line. They have four more downs to get it done. Exactly. They really need to make sure that they don't lose sight of that. So Dobson under center now. Goins in the backfield. Four wide again. Four wide again. We'll see if it's a run play again this time. Trouble on the snap, and that... 
Ball comes out. Looks like it's picked up by Phelan Academy. Nope. No? Nope. 20, 28 20 yep. Goins. All right, so Nathan Goins able to make the save there. Boy, I tell you what, that time, though, they shot the gaps uh, to, from the both to the tackles. It made it very interesting. Yeah, Phelan putting a lot of pressure there, especially on a, on a missed snap. Could have done uh, a whole lot of damage there. But Greenwood able to recover. A very important third and long here. Ah, I jumped. And another pre-snap flag. That's our fourth win already today. Yep, lots of laundry on the field. So offside by Phelan Academy. Move it up five yards. Still third down here. Clock winding down, just about a minute 40 here left. Definitely a slower drive off the uh, off the onside's kick. Had to work a lot with picking up yardage off of penalties and all that. But Greenwood Christian still threatening here. Dobbs in the past or the handoff to Goins. He's got room outside. Eventually brought down by Phelan Academy. That was Jaden Jones, quarterback and defensive back, like we talked about in the pregame. Everybody seeing both sides of the ball. Interested to see how that plays into uh, reading defenses and offenses later in the game as these teams get to know each other better. Got a timeout, Greenwood. Timeout. All right, so timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout with them. You're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. So we are back here just a little bit more than a minute left. In our first quarter here, Greenwood already used timeout. Phelan with one timeout left. Going to see how that impacts the second quarter. You know, both of these coaching staffs, uh, again, all are new. I mean, Greenwood is brand new. Phelan, I think, is, as second we talked about, year. second year. You, you could just tell that, you know, the the, the football IQ is not like we see right. in other games yet. Programs are still very much figuring everything out. Yep. Players are still relatively new. Even guys coming back for their second year, you know. As Dobbs is going to keep that one, rolls out wide. McIntyre, nice catch in the end zone. T touchdown on fourth down. They caught us sleeping. We were talking about uh, everything that's happened already. Great play there by Trey, Trey Dobbs throwing a touchdown to Evan McIntyre. Wide open. Go? Great. Look at the replay catch. Replay coming here. Look, he rolls out here. I thought this was going to be a run. He rolls out. Remember what he did the last time, threw up the wrong foot and scores the touchdown. Yeah, Evan McIntyre in the end zone, leaping to make the catch, laying out for it. Great job there. So on fourth down, they go for it and pick up the touchdown. Brings their lead up to 14-7 on to kick here, Charlie Overton. And that kick is up and good. So Greenwood extends their lead 15 to seven now. And we'll be right back as Phelan will take over here on Indiana SRN. Needing to hire someone to take care of your loved one when you're away? Maybe your family member just needs someone to talk to when you're not around. 
why not contact Indiana Licensed Serenity Care Services? Call Angela, owner of Serenity Care Services, at 317-900-6202. Our team of trained and experienced personal care providers are licensed to serve seniors requiring companion care and light housekeeping services in Indianapolis and its five surrounding counties. Call us today at 317-900-6202. Now hiring qualified applicants. We are back here at Center Grove Middle School North, the first home game in the history of the Greenwood Christian football program. They lead today's score 15-7. to Off that last drive, five plays, which ended in a touchdown, going 45 yards. And uh, what a pass to, uh, to end it with from, uh, from Trey Dobson rolling out to uh, Evan McIntyre in the end zone. Back in the box, number three, Kalik Abel, and number six, Kalik Abel and Jeremiah Thompson back for the Falcons. Kick coming again from Overton. Nice kick there. Out to Abel. And he falls and down. And he falls down, so... Just a case of, you know, you got to catch it before you can run with it. Almost forgot the ball there, so. First down from the spot for Phelan Academy. I want to thank our sponsors, Serenity Home Health Care, Serenity Care Services, an Indiana licensed personal agency and Medicaid provider in central Indiana. We are friendly, competitive, experienced for our team and caregivers that you're seeking. Contact us today for Serenity Home Care at serenitycareservice.net. I'm going to thank the sponsors today for covering our game today. And now this crowd is getting into it a little bit. The crowd is getting into this game here. Just a little under a minute left in the first quarter. First down and going to be a long ways to go on this drive. Hand off there, up the middle, tackled and stopped at the line. Looks like Eli Cheddar on the stop there for Greenwood. We're gonna Jeremiah call, Thompson on the run. We're just going to call him Cheese. We, we're just going to give him Yeah, something. I mean, Cheddar Cheese is right there, man. Yeah, it's easy. Looking at... I, you know, we got the rosters earlier this week, and I'm looking at it. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I can't confirm because I don't, you know, I'm not down here talking to the coaches, but I just was hoping so much that his last name's pronounced Cheddar. Great stop there by Cheddar Cheese. So, second down here for Phelan. Time running down here. Get the snap off over the head of the quarterback. Follow it, falling on it in the, in the end zone is Greenwood Christian for the touchdown. High snap went over the head. Jaden Jones. Wyatt Schlageter on the recovery in the end zone. Replay coming. Just Excellent. over snap. Yeah, just over the head of the uh, quarterback there, Jaden Jones, and a great job on the defense recovering in the end zone for the touchdown. And you got his name right. How about that? Grandma's going to be happy about that. Yeah, Wyatt Schlager. They don't make it easy for us every time like cheddar cheese, but everybody's name is important. So 21-7 to our score now. On the kick again, Charlie Overton. Getting a lot of reps here early in the season. Certainly important to uh, have a strong kicker here as you build your program. Noise coming from the crowd in support. Kick is up and good. Wow. Barely got in that instant. Yep. 22 to 7, our score now. Greenwood Christian doing it on offense, doing it on defense. We'll be right back here. You're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN.
we are back here for the end of the first quarter. Just about five and a half seconds left here. Got enough time for the kickoff here. Charlie Overton on. Well, Coach Greenwood Christian, their first home game in program history, getting it done on both sides of the ball, offense and defense, delivering scores yeah, and you, special teams. And you got to, you know, if you're the coaching staff at Greenwood Christian, you 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 don't know what to expect. And so you come out, and, and I'm sure you watched some film this week, but it's kind of cool uh, to see the kids respond as well as they have. Absolutely. A kick is off there, caught by that Kalik Abel. He's good. Nice return for him. Picks up some good yards. Schlageter on the tackle again for Greenwood Christian, and that takes us to the end of the first quarter. We'll be right here for the start of the second quarter and Phelan's next offensive drive on Indiana SRN. Burtner Electric Incorporated has been proudly serving our residential and commercial customers with quality electrical repair for over 33 years. We are fully licensed and insured in electrical wiring and electrician service packages. You'll receive a competitive assessment, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, first time or long time customer. We offer free estimates for any new project. Call our licensed and experienced electricians today. Can't make it to the game? We've got your back. Just go to www.indianasrn.org and tune in to all of the live action or go to our on-demand service and relive your favorite moments. Welcome back for the start of the second quarter here on Indiana SRN. We got Phelan Academy, the Phelan Academy Falcons going up against the Cougars of Greenwood Christian. Got my granddaughter we, yeah, with me. Yeah, we got a special visitor here Hi. in the uh, broadcast booth. She's got her headset on. She's listening to oh, yeah. Grandpa Coach. She digs it. Ready to jump on the broadcast. I would assume the ref just. Ah, nothing like a baby to bring yeah. to bring it full circle. Lights the day. Yes. So Phelan Academy getting ready for their fourth drive on this game. Last one did not go so well. Just two plays ending in a touchdown for Greenwood Christian on defense able to recover a hot missed snap in the end zone. So they'll take over at the 28-yard line. Hand off there, nice spin move, breaks a tackle, makes some room to run, breaks a whole lot of tackles, making a whole lot of room to run. There he goes, Jeremiah Thompson. And he goes down, and there's a flag there on the play. Got a late flag. Might have a block Excuse in the Mar back. Marquise Graham on the run. Great job by him, breaking a whole lot of tackles. Eventually went down across the 50-yard line. Yeah, block in the back, and that's a spot foul. So that, it, that will march it back just a bit. Marquise Graham needing to catch his breath there. So it will be a first down. Yeah, enough yardage to pick up the first down, but not gonna, t gonna have to take that one back. Handful of yards there about the call that uh, 30. Sit, well, here we go. All right, so from the 43-yard line, did give him the first down. Have to see if we get another run from Graham there. Jones with the handoff. No, he keeps it on the fake. Nice stiff arm there. Stays up, but still mm. brought down by Charlie Overton. That's pretty impressive. Kicker, 
kicker has uh, getting some defensive reps in too. When's the last time you talked about a kicker? Getting a sack there. <laughs> Quarterback Jaden Jones tried to get the stiff arm up, but he would Overton would not let go. Brings him down for the sack, so now it's second and a whole lot of yards after that big run on first down. Block in the back, really coming back to bite him. You know, we talk about this all the time. Penalties will kill you. You just have to, it, and they're unforced turnovers. Just, you know, if you see the guy's number in the back, you just don't hit him. Definitely rooms. I mean, definitely everybody's got room to grow early. Like we talked about young programs as Jaden Jones rolls out. He's trying to get that one off before he gets out of bounds. Incomplete there. Looking for Draylon Vaden on the rollout. Schlotiger and McIntyre combining for the tackle there. It's third down, fans. So third and days. long for the Phelan Academy Falcons. We know they have the capability of breaking, you know, big runs like that. We've seen Marquise Graham and Jeremiah Thompson both show off their speed and running ability. Have to see what they can draw up here. Not a lot of passing plays early from Jaden Jones and the Falcons offense. As we got four out wide here. Jones pressured by McIntyre. McIntyre missed the tackle, is still running out wide. Jones breaks a tackle. He breaks another one and finally chased down before he was able to pick up the first down. But now it's making it manageable at fourth down and about six. Brought down by Tyler Wiggin from behind. Good job by him, not giving up the first down after uh, lots of nice moves there from Jaden Jones once he got out of the backfield. So fourth down and manageable, like you said, about six yards to go here. Did he do this? So fourth and six here. Certainly imagine you'd see a pass on this play. You need to pick up the yardage. So he has Jeremiah Thompson in the backfield with him, does Jones, and four wide receivers out wide. Whistles before the snap. Looks like we're getting a timeout failing. So they'll taking a break on the field. We'll take a break here. You're, you're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. We are back here on Indiana SRN. High school football today, Greenwood Christian taking on the Falcons of Phelan Academy. 20, 20, uh, excuse me, 22 to 7 our score. Just about... A little less than 10 minutes left here in our second quarter. We want to thank the Greenwood varsity baseball team chiming in today. Also, Diana Jeremiah and the athletic department and Matt Jones following us today. Thank you to our viewers and supporters keeping us going. You're who we do it for. Jaden Jones keeping a high snap, looking for room to run. He's got room on Bumbles. the outside. Fumble going out of bounds. Overton forces it. 
How about the respect there? Quarterback running out of bounds. Jones runs out of bounds to number 66. Brick wall. Shane Healy knocks him down and goes, nice hit, big fella. Thanks yep. a lot. Thanks for not hurting me. So on fourth down, they went for it. Unsuccessful, so a turnover on downs. Fumble going out of bounds didn't end up uh, having any impact. So taking over across the 50-yard line will be Greenwood Christian yet again. Their offense has been thriving today. Lots of lots of uh, plays on the ground, like you said. Lots of runs. We're seeing whether it's design runs by the quarterback or Trey Dobson having to make some plays for himself. And of course, Nathan Goins creating a touchdown for them on some special teams play, and their defense doing great today. So I we'll have to see what they have here. I believe their first drive here in the second quarter. Dobson throws that one back to Goins. Goins gets past one tackle, makes another guy miss, flags on the play, and eventually brought down by a couple of Falcons. He got a hold on Honeycutt. Grab the defender, just can't do that. So it's going to be 10 yards here. It's going to be first and 20. So Daniel Honeycutt on the hold, just trying to make that block. Wasn't able to fully get there in time. Penalties kill you like we've seen on a few of Phelan's drives. Have to see what kind of adversity they can battle back from here. Tam Sweet and Savory Cafe, a great atmosphere for breakfast or brunch. Opens Wednesday through Sunday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tammy and her staff is waiting to serve you and your family. Try their biscuits and gravy or their quiche. I recommend their BLT sandwiches with extra mayonnaise, ketchup on your potato chips. Tams are located at 6427 Oak Landing Road. BLT sounds good to me right now. That one was handed off to Honeycutt. Brought down by Sharon Thompson of the Falcons. Tams and Sweet Savory Cafe, really good food. I'll have to check it out. Never been. Highly recommended. Got to have ketchup on your potato chips, so got to have ketchup. So second down here for the Cougars. Talking about food, they had a they had a nice little tailgating party earlier today. Yeah, a whole bunch of support from Greenwood Christian showing out. Everyone wants to be here for history. First, first home football game of program history. Handoff there to Goins. Tries to break a tackle, unsuccessful there. Nice tackle there by Marquise Graham. Short pickup. So third down here for Greenwood Christian. Second down in about a country mile, isn't it? Double sticks there. Yep, they definitely got a ways to go here. Third down about 20, did you say? How about 27? 27 yards, so almost almost three first downs worth here <laughs> for uh, Greenwood Christian to pick up. Have to see what kind of offense they can put into picking some of that up. Dobson drops back to pass. Can't find a target. He's going to find some room to run, though. Tries to break a tackle. Picks up about five. Dean Powell making the tackle for the Falcons there. So fourth down and a long ways to go still. We'll have to see if they bring out the punting unit. Oh, you don't plan here. Your first year program, you just you just try your best here. And they certainly are going for it. Going to give Trey Dobson a whole lot of options. Oh, not, unless, Two in the backfield, get extra oh, protection he, there. He no, pooched it. They do punt it. So Trey Dobson on the punt to 
Jaden Jones. Didn't quite have time to react for uh, making a fair catch, but no yards on the return. Charlie Overton making the tackle. So a shocking punt there. How about Overton? Five foot eleven, 175 pounds. D lineman, <laughs> kicker. What else do you need? No, you don't. And he's a wide receiver, so we may even see him uh, against some offense later in the game. I have to keep our eyes open. As the Falcons take over at a, just across the 30-yard line. Seen a lot of pre-snap penalties on their line here. We'll have to see if that makes a difference. Like we said, penalties can really tell, tell a story before you're ready for yours to be done. So four out wide. Jaden Jones back to Kalik Abel, overthrown and incomplete. So looking for a screen play there. Unable to find it. Coach, are you surprised at all by the uh, the plays that we've seen from these offensive offenses early? I I, I was I was looking forward to some of the mistakes, but some of the offensive plays that they have put together has been pretty impressive. Yeah, they certainly have. Able to break big runs when they are able to get everything clicking. Jaden Jones dropping back to pass under pressure gets that one off to Jeremiah uh, Marquise Graham. He gets room to run, breaks the tackle, nice spin there, still up, legs still churning, going to the 50-yard line. Flag on the play, looks like we're going to get a face mask. Brought down by Goins. So another nice run there by Marquise Graham. He's had a few of them today. Got a face mask. And face mask on Greenwood Christian, so that will march that one uh, extra few yards here. You got to stay away from that helmet. So you can pick up another 15 yards. Growing pains for both of these young programs here. Failing just in their second year, like, like we said earlier. So they will take over at fir first down here. At about the 45 of Greenwood Christian. Jones in the back with Anthony Edwards. Hand off to Edwards and brought down in the backfield. Cheddar cheese on the stop yet again, Eli Cheddar. Cheddar. Big number 70 for the Greenwood Christian. Coming through on the defense. Great job by him. Got a great replay here on the big stop. Big Cheddar Cheese making a hole all the way through on the deep, hole all the way through the line and down for the tackle. You think he's great a little, job there. You think he's a little excited about that? Yeah, make it, Cheddar making the making the uh, offensive line look like Swiss cheese there. Oh, very good. So we'll be right back for the next play here on Indiana SRN. They say nice guys don't finish first. So maybe it's time to reconsider what it means to be first. It's about being your best, but knowing you could be even better. It's being present, but respectful of history. You sure you want to make that move? It's donating something more valuable than money. It's believing in yourself. It's something bigger. It's coming from different families, but treating each other like brothers. It's not just being a man. It's being a mason. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. 
We are back here. Phelan Academy in Greenwood Christian. Participating in high school athletics does not have to end with your high school graduation. Even if you have been away from the game for a while, you can get back into the game by becoming a licensed official in any of the 20 sanctioned sports in the Indiana High School Athletic Association. Contact them at ihsaa.org. Become an official today. So the fourth drive of the game for Phelan Leadership Academy. Second down, 13 yards to go. Coming off the timeout. Second and 13 off the tackle for loss by Eli Cheddar Cheese. Low snap there, picked up by Jones. Stiff arm, makes some space. Trying to get one off and throws that one out of bounds. Plenty of flags down. There's a flag on the play. Referees discussing. Flags went down in the backfield as Jones was rolling out right. Maybe even multiple penalties on the same play, having a, a lot of talking from our official crew. At halftime today, Mike Chedek will be joining us. He is the superintendent of Greenwood Christian. Lots of thing to talk to him about it school year, lots of things going on. So a pair of offsetting fouls here. So we'll get a replay of down here. Still second down and 13. Second time we've had a face mask penalty. Yep. Team's got to make sure they're uh, noticing. You know, it's fine to make mistakes, but you just got to grow from those mistakes. Can't be repeating over and over. That's exactly. what ends up costing your team, not just in this game, but further down the season. That one's handed off to Jeremiah Thompson in the backfield, brought down by Evan McIntyre. McIntyre's played a pretty good first half. Yeah, touchdown catch. Plenty of defensive uh, plays for him as well. Gets the stop and... Tackle for loss there. So third down and extra long here for the Falcons. So no loss of yardage on the last play. Able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 13 here as the crowd of Greenwood Christian makes some noise in support of their Cougars. Jaden Jones in the backfield with Marquise Graham. Rolls out wide, misses a tackle there. A nice pass completion over the middle. Nice catch there by Aaron Howard at the tight end. I believe that's our first pass play completion for positive yardage for Phelan in this game today, so good job by them getting off the schneid a little bit. See if they can open up more passing lanes here late in the second quarter. It's fourth down, your fans. So fourth down and manageable. Fatum Academy playing at Bowman Academy next Saturday at 2 o'clock start. Snap got by Johnson. He looks deep. Cleek able wide open. Oh, oh. Just, just out of reach. Had his hands just a little bit behind him on the throw. Jaden Jones had his man. Definitely would have been. You see on the replay here, Cleek able just unable to find it behind him. Just about a half a step behind him, maybe. So a turnover on downs. Right at the goal line. For Phelan Academy. Yeah, great throw there. 
by Jones. So Greenwood takes over. Looks like they're at about the 32 yard line. See if they have a three minute drive here. Snap taken by Dobbs, handed off. That is McIntyre again from the backfield. The offensive line will be tired for that first half. To get some water in him. See, yes, yeah, certainly both both sets of linemen for uh, Phelan and for Greenwood Christian pulling double duty today. Going to be uh, excited to get a a breather. So just under three minutes here. Second and five off the pickup there by McIntyre. Two men behind him. Dobson getting tackled there. Tried to shovel it off to McIntyre in the backfield. Risky play there. Looks like Greenwood Christian able to recover there. Evan McIntyre, like we were talking about, he is just about everywhere. I think he's got uh, a nose for the football. How about you? Yeah, certainly. Touchdown catch, plenty of runs, fumble recovery in the backfield. And, of course, we've seen him make tons of tackles on defense as well. McIntyre and Goins in the backfield, just two wide receivers out. For Dobson. Checking the defense, making his calls at the line. Timeout, Greenwood Christian. So as they take their break, we'll take a break here as well. Back here watching high school sports on Indiana SRN. I'm Keith Myers, Vice President of Indiana SRN. Thanks for joining us. You know Indiana SRN broadcasts 350 games a year. All sorts of sports. Yeah, we do. Hard to believe, isn't it? Indiana SRN loves to put student athletes first on our website. If you're a business out there, we probably could help you too. Contact us at coach at indianasrn.org. Grandma from out of state thanks you. Mom and dad who can't get to the game thanks you as well. In fact, our athletes watch the games over and over again. Our military has enjoyed the games as well. So sit back and enjoy the game. It's Indiana SRN. So third and six here for Greenwood Christian off the timeout. Our score is 22 to 7 in favor of the Cougars. Both teams out of timeouts. Just a minute 40 sec 46 here, excuse me, left in our first half. McIntyre and Goins in the backfield. Dobson rolls out. Looking for anything short. Unable to find a target. And forced out of bounds. Forced out by. Bersaji Domingue of the Phelan Academy Falcons. So fourth and six after no pick up there by Dobson on the run. Just looked like he couldn't find a receiver downfield. Dobson's listed at 5'8 and 140. Really small. You look at the roster, pretty small. Small team ball club. overall, yeah. yeah. Definitely fighting adversity there. And another pre-snap penalty there, and he knew it. Once again, number 52, George Walls. Fourth one. Fourth one, and I believe the fourth on him as well. So definitely uh, a moment of learning here, a game of learning for the young man from Phelan Academy. And that gives them the first down. So on what was a fourth and short, now first and ten for Greenwood, Greenwood Christian. They've got another chance here to keep this drive going with just, uh, just about a minute 40 left. Yeah. 
Dobson with Goins in the backfield. Looks for a pass short. Caught by Charlie Overton. Runs into a huge tackle. And able to pick up the first down and a few more. Boy, that flat was wide open. And Charlie just, he's made contact. We talk about kids who hit you before you hit them. He definitely hit that defender before he got hit. Yeah, definitely ran into it there. Nice nice physical play by Overton. Another guy that we've been talking about all over the field is Dobson avoids danger in the backfield, makes a cut. Picks up about four or five there. Nice run by Dobson. Overton listed in three positions, wide receiver, defensive line, and kicker. We've seen him on making plays on defense. He's uh, converted uh, lots of field goal or uh, excuse me, points after on touchdowns, which is uh, very impressive from a young program and a young kicker. And they're a good, nice pickup on first for a first down by Overton. Dobson having trouble in the backfield, able to get one off to McIntyre for positive yards. Great job by Dobson. I'm telling you, you don't, won't see this in the stat line, but that could have been a 20-yard loss, and they gain four yard. No, they gained seven yards on that play, eight yards on that play. Yeah, great job by the offense, not getting lost there. Dobson just, I mean, turning something out of nothing. You're saying it could have been a loss. You know, with nobody back there, that could have been a Threw it off score. the wrong foot, too. Great job by the young young quarterback, able to muscle it and get seven yards off to uh, Evan McIntyre. Kudos to the weight coach. Like you said, 5'8", 140, showing every bit of it on that throw. Drops back for another one. Makes the defense dance. Nice tackle there, brought down by Marquise Graham. Penalty on that play, holding against the Cougars. So not what you want to see there. Able to pick up a few yards, but going to have to walk it back. So going to be third and long. You're long here. But a very, it shows even more how important it was to get the playoff and able to pick up the big yardage on the play to McIntyre off the uh, missed snap there. Fatum's going to take this penalty. So they mark him back 10 yards. So you're third down and third 20. and Yep, third and 20 just about for Greenwood Christian. Low snap, whistles and more flags there. Have to see if this ball gets marked up a few more yards. False start. So a false, st a false start false on start. Greenwood Christian. Going to walk it back even a little further. Still third down for the Cougars. 31 or 36. Uh, about 30 seconds left here. We're going to have to see if they can get a playoff for some positive yardage. Dobson's got three receivers, out, four receivers out wide. Goins back to block. Nice spin move by Dobson, able to create some room down the sideline. Forced out by Kalik Abel. Nice run there. I'm impressed with the spin. Yeah, Trey Dobson keeping himself open. Nice job on the spin move in traffic. Keeps himself up, able to pick up a big chunk of yardage there on the third and long. A young team, but certainly not afraid of anything. Whether it's fancy moves, trick plays, Greenwood's come to play. They yeah. have. Clean snap there, taken by Dobson over to Overton. Overton's got room to run, hits the defender there again. Nice job being physical there. 
Going to be close whether they spot it or. Looks like fourth and one here. Coach asking for a spike just with no timeouts left. Coach wants to stop the clock so they can get a playoff. Oh, so they didn't mark it as a first down on the on the pick up there by Overton. Going to be first down here with just seven seconds left for Phelan Academy. Boy, that was pretty close there. Great job to fight for it by Charlie Overton. So we are taking a break here. We'll be right back. You're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN. You want a career that will transform your life while you change the lives of others by helping them live well. With a health or exercise sciences degree from IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the healthcare industry while preparing you for a variety of graduate and professional programs in health. And with Indy as your classroom, you will have clinical options within leading hospitals right in our backyard, as well as a degree from Indiana University, reputable leaders in the healthcare industry. It all starts here. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. So just seven seconds left in our first half. Phelan Academy trailing Greenwood Christian 22 to seven. Seen a lot of scoring, or you saw a lot of scoring here in this first half from Greenwood, both on offense and on defense. We've seen that Phelan can definitely break plays for a big yardage. Just have to work out the kinks, uh, getting these uh, flags off. We'll see what improvements they can make coming out of halftime here as we try to get a playoff pre-snap flag. False start on Phelan Academy. So the Falcons will walk it back five. Still first down. Wind's picking up a little bit. Won't affect the kicking game at all, though. Uh, looks like it's blowing across the field, so I have to see as that one is hoisted up there by Jones and picked off by Greenwood Christian. Charlie Overton looks like. Excuse me, that was number 13. Jacob. Schlichting, great job there. Huge lob pass, but a little too much air under it from Jaden Jones. Nice interception there. As that'll bring us down to the end of our first half. You're watching High School Football on Indiana SRN. You want a career that creates experiences that are impossible to forget. By studying sports and events at IUPUI, you'll get hands-on experience in and out of the classroom. And with Indy as your classroom, there are high-profile events, sports franchises, hotels, museums, and large organizations across the city to engage, educate, and enlighten your student journey before you graduate. There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to prepare you to handle any event, big or small. It all starts here. Hi, my name is Chris Cross, and for the last six years I have taught elementary at GCA, and I'm currently transitioning into an administrative role. Fourth grade students are often struggling with um, who they are and, and how they relate to others. Being an elementary teacher, I have been able to speak God's truth into the lives of students just in an everyday manner. Uh, just for example, of tattling or um, gossiping and, and going into God's Word and saying, how does this Word, God's Word, speak into this relationship? Um, how do we use it? What do we do? 
And the greatest thing is that I've seen those kids take those pieces of information, put them into practice, and also teach their other fellow students. Um, out at recess, I've heard them say, well, what do you think God would say about this? And to me, that's the greatest thing that can happen here. I'm Sean Branch, and I am entering my sixth year of teaching sixth grade math science Bible here at Greenwood Christian Academy. I think every teacher in the world wants to have an impactful relationship with each of his or her students. Here at GCA, I get to know these kids. Uh, I get to have an impact on their lives because I know what they're interested in, I know what they're passionate about, I understand what they're dealing with and where they're coming from, I've had relationships and communications with their parents, and so I'm able to speak life into them in and out of the classroom, which is a real blessing. As a former student athlete myself, I never thought I would be able to use that part of my journey to impact so many people's lives, but now here at GCA as a coach, I can take my knowledge of sport and use ministry, use it as a ministry uh, to help these young people. Learn the story. Love the story. Love the story. Back at halftime with the score 22 to 7. Coach Myers with you with Mike Chittick. And Mike, it was three years ago on a basketball court where we talked about maybe the future of Greenwood Christian in a new building, possibly football, all those things. We've been with you. This is our third year anniversary with you guys. Did a lot of football, did a, some baseball last year, added football this year, looking for basketball season this year. Maybe spring sports coming, but a long way to come, uh, three years. Yeah, it's been a quite a journey in a short amount of time. God's been so gracious to the school. You know, three years ago, we had 300 less students, one campus. Uh, we knew that there was a lot of potential at GCA, uh, athletically, academically, spiritually. And uh, I could not have imagined all the growth and all that's happened, the new facilities. And, of course, uh, football now, it's kind of hard to even say it. It's just hard to believe. Uh, but we are thrilled with all that's happening at GCA for sure. I, I don't know how many people are here, but I, I would say it's a rough estimate of about five to 600 people tailgating party when we came in at 1 o'clock to set up for our production meeting. We go, huh, we missed dinner. Yeah, I tell you, you know, when you haven't done it before, uh, just the newness of being able to step out there with uh, friends and family and, uh, you know, having some food and gathering and pr anticipating a game, you know, and this is uh, – a small start for us, given the fact that we've only got, what, 15 uh, boys out there. But uh, we're so thrilled with the start. And one one of the wonderful things about athletics and football in particular is it's, uh, as you said earlier, Friday night lights, uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, sunshine. But it brings out everybody, uh, whether you like football or not, uh, just the place to be uh, for sure. I don't know if you know this, but Al Dotson was on our coaches show just about three weeks ago at Aspen Creek Grill. We got, gave him and his wife a nice little steak dinner <laughs> because we told her she's not going to see him for the next 13, 14 <laughs> yeah, weeks. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, the first thing he said was, why would you want to talk to me? And it's like, hey, th that's the way we build programs. He had a great history down in Florida, and he's brought that character. And his son's not bad. I think his son took the athletic ability from his mom. But, uh, you know, you got a nice little young team. you got yeah. two seniors. Yeah, absolutely. So a couple seniors, a couple juniors, and, a, and heavily freshmen and sophomores. And there's a lot of little athletes out there that have a hunger. And, yeah, Coach Dobson's uh, passion for starting programs is his love for the Lord. And uh, the fact that he's got family here in this community it was, a, it was an easy decision. We were really uh, fortunate and blessed that Coach Dobson and his family uh, made the decision to come to GCA for sure. We'll, we'll, t we'll break in this down in two segments because we have so much to talk about. Talk about the new campus real quick here. Yeah, uh, uh, Community Church of Greenwood, uh, uh, that campus, uh, they reached out to us, let us 
uh, have that uh, facility. We've got over 200 students in our high school now and uh, more on the way. And uh, opportunity for us to build fields out there. Brand new gym, three courts, brand new floor for this volleyball and basketball season. As you've seen, new logo. It's an exciting time to be part of GCA. For and sure. an Indiana SRN booth, which we uh, love. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we got you a nice spot reserved for yeah. sure. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the education side and the, the spiritual side of Greenwood Christian because it's not all about sports. Absolutely. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student-athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org officials today. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at Indiana SRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now at Indiana SRN. Those bleachers down into 10 feet of concrete by live. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at Indiana SRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now at Indiana SRN. Redick joins us. It's halftime, 22 to 7. The first official game of Greenwood Christians kickoff for football. They invited Indiana SRN to do that. I know we have lots of viewers around the world because you're following on Indiana SRN has been incredible for a small school. Talk about about the new school. You've been in that building now two years. Uh, talk about the spiritual side, but the educational side. If people want to get an education, Greenwood Christian yeah, is where to go. Well, I'm a little bit biased. Though. We've got a great thing at GCA. We have two campuses, preschool through uh, eighth grade at the South Campus. But our new campus, as you mentioned, uh, on the uh, Main Street uh, location, this is our second year. Uh, we are uh, over 200 now in our high school, and we have an excellent academic and uh, spiritual focus at our school. We are uh, not supported by a particular church. We have about 70 local churches represented in our school, and uh, we have a strong, uh, strong stand on the Word of God. And uh, we are uh, a school that uh, does not compromise uh, the truth, but we also give it an outstanding education. We believe that the... Uh, uh, the trust in the Lord is the beginning of all, all knowledge, and therefore uh, we have a lot of freedom, a lot of support to uh, be able to teach the way we believe that God's intended it to be. So, yeah, we got great great leadership, great teachers, uh, dual credit courses, college-level courses, and it's a great place to, to have your child to, to, to get a rich education, extracurricular opportunities, but also in a safe family-like atmosphere it's really uh, the best of all things i i don't want to let this slip you said 70 different churches absolutely when you have 70 different churches uh, you have 70 different mindsets mm -hmm. but if it's one mindset of teaching our kids about the word and the education factor then you're going to be pretty successful absolutely you know we, we serve one god but uh obviously with those different churches we have to have a uh, a dynamic um, a Bible department, which we do, and we have a solid statement of faith based upon God's Word. But, yeah, we have got great families, very supportive of what we do, uh, and uh, we just believe that uh, in today's world, parents ought to have a choice about where to send their kids. And uh, all that's happening, as you know, in our culture and society, uh, a place like GCA offers a lot of uh, freedoms, opportunities for families to put their children. When I was prepping for the game today, I looked down in the roster and I saw a number 72, <laughs> and I see a six foot two, 245 uh, kid named Luke. Um, okay, where does he get his athletic ability? Well, his mom was a college volleyball player. Uh, I did play college basketball. 
Uh, his grandpa was a football coach. Uh, yeah, we're just thrilled. Uh, this, uh, actually, Luke is the fifth of my uh, the fifth child of mine, and my I have three older sons who didn't have a chance to play football because the schools we were at didn't have football. So Luke is the first uh, Chitty in uh, family history to play football, um, and he's loving it. Loves Coach Dobson. Loves this opportunity. So uh, his mom and I give us uh, give him our share of thoughts about being the lineman. Neither one of us have any experience on that line, but uh, he's having a blast. Tell him not to pull away from the supper table, though. <laughs> That's Keep right. Keep eating. Yeah, yeah, that and for in, sure. And then finally, Devin Gray, your athletic director, has been there now two years. you got a great athletic staff. The crazy thing that I love about Devin is – he had great upbringing, mom and dad. But, you know, he played for a coach that was really good. <laughs> That's what I he, hear. He's got a state championship <laughs> ring on his finger. That's what I hear. Yeah, devin has got a great pedigree, comes from a great family, and uh, loves athletics and is passionate about what we do and uh, how we do it. Uh, was instrumental in bringing Coach Dobson on the staff. And, uh, yeah, he loves GCA. We're so thrilled that he and his wife and son are, are part of our family. He's done a fabulous job. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah you ever need Levi to play a concert. He knows how to play the <laughs> Car. Definitely, for sure. In fact, uh, the other day, Mike, it was Levi Day, and I called Catherine and I said, it's Levi Day. I'm going to say something on the radio show about Levi. She goes, he's not going to be listening to you. I said, I wasn't even to play a concert. Uh, again, if, if, if people want to come out there and support not only the athletic program or the school, they can contact your office starting Monday, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, reach out to our website, uh, Greenwood Christian Academy, and uh, be happy to set up a tour. We're, we're, we have a uh, 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 parents that are still reaching out to us even though the school year started as they have explored other opportunities so we do have some caps in some of our classes but there's still room uh, if they're interested in joining uh, the gca family it's a great place to raise a child and get a, a great education and again we got two campuses a, a tremendous amount of potential and football is just a little bit of a uh, an anticipation of the things to come at gca it's a uh, it's an exciting time for sure and when we walked into booth Mike, I'll be honest with you, every single person who talked to us, is, well, we're glad that we partner with you. So if you want to support them that way, you can contact us as well, and we'll get as many Greenwood games on as we I possible. Thank you, my friend. Thank I you, appreciate sir. your I, time. I appreciate all you guys do. Thanks for covering us. We Have love it. Night. We'll take a three-minute break. We'll come back. Chuck will be joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. It's 22-7 halftime. You want a career that will transform your life while you change the lives of others by helping them live well. With a health or exercise sciences degree from IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the healthcare industry while preparing you for a variety of graduate and professional programs in health. And with Indy as your classroom, you will have clinical options within leading hospitals right in our backyard, as well as a degree from Indiana University, reputable leaders in the healthcare industry. It all starts here. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. transportation and everything in between. Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. Tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? Hmm? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! I get her that solo! Yeah, Come on! 
Hi, I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. We are back here for our second half of action in this presentation of high school football on Indiana SRN. Chuck Levine and the coach Keith Myers here. Our halftime score, 22 to seven. Coach, what are you looking from these two teams as we head into the second half? <laughs> the uh, Falcons led off the scoring in the first quarter at 7:13 mark, made it 7-0. Then Greenwood Christian Academy a 90-yard run, two-point conversion, made it 8-7 with 6:59 in the first quarter. Evan McIntyre had a six-yard touchdown pass. Uh, point conversion was good and made to make it uh, 14 with 102 left. And then with five seconds left, a fumble in the end zone recovered by uh, Schleiner uh, that made it uh, seven more to make it 22 to seven. Uh, and that's where we are at halftime. But very slow first half, but we expect that the the. Pretty, pretty, uh, the 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 energy's not quite yet for both of these teams. Right. Uh, the football IQ, little down. Uh, you know, you, we're used to big time football on Friday nights, where you know, six A schools, you got 150 kids on the sideline. Right. Today, you got six subs. Yep. So a big difference, but you know, football is football, and Mike Ch Chittick said it perfectly. You know, this is they're doing it right, and that's kind of cool. And looking forward to a good second half. Yes, we are a very exciting upcoming second half year. Going to start to see if uh, sort of what we've been talking about here, both teams having to put players on offense and defense. We've seen plays all day from uh, kids like Charlie Overton and certainly uh, on, and Evan McIntyre on both offense and defense. Making catches, making tackles. All right, Cougar fans, it's the start of the second half. All right, this broadcast is copyrighted by Indiana SRN and the Indiana High School Athletic Association for the private use of our audience, the use of pictures, videos, and audio without express written consent permission of the IHSAA is prohibited. Well, Greenwood gets the ball. Yeah, Greenwood chose to defer their first uh, after the coin toss. So to start the second half, they'll get to receive already up three scores here, 22 to seven, or up two scores, excuse me. Dobson and Goins in the backfield, or back for the kick. Coming from Domingue from Phelan. Wind has picked up a little bit here over the halftime break. We'll see if that impacts anything. Shouldn't be too, it's nothing too extreme, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be anything too crazy. Kick here, Domingue, end over end. Pick, caught by Goins and dropped. Able to pick that one back up. He's still got room to run through the middle. Gets past the tackle. He's got room down the sideline. He can get past another defender. 
Big tackle there. Huge return for Goins. His second big return of the game. First one, of course, that 90-yarder going for a touchdown. That one still bringing him across the 50-yard line. Eventually brought down by Marquise Graham of the Falcons. Graham stayed a touchdown. Uh, if you're a Little League fan, Hawaii will be in the championship game tomorrow. They beat uh, Tennessee 5-1. to one. All right, huge implications there for the boys from Hawaii. We talked about that off there. They're big kids. Yeah, big 12-year-olds, man. So the first play here from scrimmage in our second half, and we've got whistles. Make sure everyone's set and ready to go. So here is Dobson under center. Going to hand that one off to Goins. Goins wrapped up in the backfield. Aaron Howard on the tackle there. Nice stop by the defensive back from Phelan Academy. Thought it was a fumble trying to convince the refs. Marquise Graham, the one who ended up with the ball. I think the ball did come out, but I think the he was down. Yeah, by I believe contact. he was down by contact before the ball popped out. So we'll get another first down here. Or excuse me, second down and ten. Dobson still with two in the backfield. Toss out to Evan McIntyre. Hits one of his own blockers from behind. Reverses field. Nice stiff arm there. Gets a block by Dobson. McIntyre down the sideline. Just forced. Oh. Looked like he was forced out just a little short of the end zone. Had a big dive there. Tried to stretch it. Here's here, here's what I like. Quarterback is yeah. Look at Trey late. Dobson <laughs> taking a block there. Evan McIntyre looked like he was pushed out around maybe the ten yard line. Yeah, let's say it at the eleven. Wow, what a play That's by right. Dobson. Yeah, great play by the quarterback Dobson on the reverse field by Evan McIntyre. McIntyre, good read by him, seeing that there was nothing open, so he reverse field and found room to run. And again, like we said, great, great block by the 5'8", uh, 140-pounder, Trey Dobson. 140. He needed every bit of it for that block, and he did a great job there. Hand, Fake the handoff to Goins. He's going to run out wide. Flags on the play. Dobson in, signaling for a touchdown. Penalty flag. Looks like that might be on the offense. And it is. Uh. So holding on the Cougars. Won't be able to pick up that touchdown on the on the run out outright by uh, Trey Dobson. So first and twenty now. So Greenwood Christian looking to pick up a few extra yards after the penalty. Dobson in the back with Goins, who will now rotate out wide. Got a blocker back. Goins looked like the throw was on target, but just didn't see it. So incomplete, and that will bring up second down. Goins has to look for that pass. He was open in that flat. Yeah, possibly heard footsteps and didn't just quite didn't quite uh, have his eye on the ball. Good point. Yeah, closing out, I believe that was Aaron Howard. We've said his name a lot on defense. So second down and long now. After the big run, McIntyre in the backfield with Goins. Dobson under center. He will keep it. Looking for Goins. What a catch by Nathan Goins, one-handed. 
That ball just a little bit behind him, reaches out and says, oh, that's no problem, I'll take that. Keeps hustling, picks up some nice yardage. Let me pick up that bacon for you. Here, here you go. Look at this hit, too. He hung on to this with the contact. Yeah, nice, nice little pass. There. One handed and one look at handed this hit. even brings it into his body with one hand. Doesn't need two hands for anything. Able to protect the ball, go you know, go through the contact and keep this one for Greenwood Christian going. Pretty impressive. So three in the backfield now. Looks like there might have been a false start on one of those men in the backfield. Well, we don't play in Canada, so we can't do it in motion. Yep, no, no movement on the line uh, before the snap here. Well, I guess if we were in an arena. <laughs> arena football. Arena Very football good. Arena football, we could. So third and 11 now for the Cougars. They've showed the, their ability to pick up big chunks of yardage when they need to. Especially if they're going to be a four down team here in the red zone. Going to have to pick up some yards, get a little bit closer before fourth down end zone target. So two behind Dobson, three out wide. Keeps the ball, looking for someone out wide. Dobson, room to run. He's going to try to break one. Stays in bounds. Nice hit there. Looks like he might have just stepped out of bounds on the hit. So we're at fourth down. And fourth, fourth down and short. They do have an, the ability to pick up the first down. Looks like uh, they could, if they can get to the one-yard line, they could pick up the first down reset here, get four more plays for uh, another attempt at the end zone. Or will they attempt the end zone target here on fourth down? Plenty of wide receivers. Timeout, Cougars. Timeout, Greenwood Christian. Didn't like what they saw there. So we'll be right back for the continuation of this drive on Indiana SRN. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at Indiana SRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now at Indiana SRN. All right, so we are back here for the conclusion of this drive. Fourth and two for the Greenwood Cougars, Greenwood Christian Cougars. They are pushing for their first score this oh, second yeah, half. Cougars. about a third of the way through this third quarter. Handoff from Dobson to Goins. He has some room outside. He avoids blockers, and he's in for the touchdown. Nathan Goins in for his second score today, this time a rushing touchdown from only a few yards out instead of that 90-yard return he had earlier. Nice job there on the touchdown. Nice little six-run sweep. Nice job by Goins, able to get out wide enough. Throws up a stiff arm to create even more space for him. And so now we will have Overton on for the extra point. Oh. Pre-snap whistle there. We've like might have had some movement on the defense. Got an encroachment there. Now you go for two. All right, so the Cougars 
keeping the offense rolling here, looking to get their lead all the way up to 23 points. Certainly, with the game that we've seen so, so thus far, we'll uh, need to see Phelan Academy really step on the gas pedal in the second half if they want to get back into this one. Dobson with Goins in the backfield. He keeps it with one receiver out wide, throws. Able to find in the end zone. There he is again. That is Evan McIntyre for the two-point conversion. 30-7 to seven our score. We'll be right back with the kickoff for uh, from Greenwood Academy here on Indiana SRN. Bertner Electric Incorporated has been proudly serving our residential and commercial customers with quality electrical repair for over 33 years. We are fully licensed and insured in electrical wiring and electrician service packages. You'll receive a competitive assessment, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, first time or long time customer. We offer free estimates for any new project. Call our licensed and experienced electricians today. Can't make it to the game? We've got your back. Just go to www.indianasrn.org and tune in to all of the live action or go to our on-demand service and relive your favorite moments. So they are partying in the USA here <laughs> at Greenwood Christian. That's good. Just took their lead up to 30 to seven. Off the touchdown by Goins and the two-point conversion reception by Evan McIntyre. No, pa no, no more baby powder. No, uh, in this no game. more That's baby a good powder. Thing. So Overton on for the kickoff. Abel and Thompson in back to receive for Phelan. Hard kick. That one bounces over the head of Kalik Abel and just oh. rolling out of bounds. Smart play there by the Falcons to let that one go. Thought it might have made it in the end zone, but that one will pick up the penalty there on the kickoff. So Phelan with favorable starting position here as they take over in the second half. Boy, that, that thing had eyes in that corner, didn't it? Yeah, it sure was looking for it. So by rule in high school, it goes to the 35-yard line. We'll have to see what the focus of the uh, halftime talks was from head coach of Salem Academy, Rufus Sanders, see what he focused on. Lots of penalties on the line in the first half really hindered a lot of the drives uh, that the Falcons had put together. Lots of long plays that had to get walked back because of blocks or holds. We'll see if they're able to pick up on those mistakes and capitalize now on in those positions. Jones with three receivers wide, one in the backfield, high snap, handed off to Jeremiah Thompson. Unable to break one loose there, wrapped up in the back. That is Tyler Wiggin. <laughs> Did you hear one of the fans? That's my brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody's got Every, fans out here. It's all a family affair here at Greenwood. Everyone here to witness their Cougars trying to bring home first home W in program history. So second and long here, about 18 to go for Phelan. As that one picked up by Jones, try to get one off, picked off by Cheddar, and he's going to take that one all the way in for the pick six. Cheddar Cheese just put his hands up at the line. Came down with the football. Pick six for the big O lineman. 
Eli Cheddar, 260 pounds, going all the way down for the score. Cheddar cheese. Wow. He he will be watching this replay. And he's getting his crowd excited. Got the chain on. Big man touchdown. Everybody loves to see that. That is that is just awesome football. And he's got to trot out there again. And a cheddar chant has erupted from the student section here at Center Grove Middle School North. <laughs> so Overton on for the kick. Eighteen yard interception. Nice pick six for Eli Cheddar. As that kick is blocked, first one we've seen today. Nice job by the defense. So no good on the kick after. 36 to seven our score. We'll be right back here as Phelan receives the kickoff on Indiana SRN. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. And we are back here for the kickoff coming from Greenwood Christian. Fainland Academy unable to get going really on an offensive drive there. Two plays, the first one to tackle for loss, and the second one, 18-yard pick six by the def defensive lineman and offensive lineman, Eli Cheddar. And just what an eruption we got from the crowd as he walked off the field. And the chant, the chain, you know, he's, he's the man on campus today. Oh, yeah. Making memories in this historic game for Greenwood Christian. Back to return are Kalik Abel and Jeremiah Thompson. Fielded cleanly by Abel. Big hit there and goes down. Oh, there's but a little little taunting at the end there coming from Daniel Honeycutt on the end. That's a great call by the official. Stop that right now. Yeah, it's a good a good stop by Honeycutt, but you don't want to see that little extra on the end. Unsportsmanlike conduct on them. So that will be tacked on to the end of the run. And coaches now has his ear on the sideline. Good officiating. That's excellent officiating. Good officiating. And like you said, great job by the coach to immediately address that. You don't want to let that build up, especially in a young program. Everyone's excited. You know, make a big hit, make a big play. You want to have your moment. Moments are not made by Trash Talk. Good job by Coach getting that on him early. <laughs> the neat thing is he won't do it again. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll earn for that. So the first play here, some confusion on the line from Phelan Academy. Jaden Jones gets the snap. He's got a lot of pressure coming from Greenwood Christian, able to get the pass off, but out of play and out of bounds. So 
Draylon Vaden, the intended receiver. Lots of pressure coming from Wyatt Schla Schlageter from Phelan Academy. Looked like Luke Chitty as well on the pressure. First time Luke has been in a, in a scum there. Good to see everybody getting involved. Long, long games like this, especially with short rosters, somebody's going to have to step up. It can't be everybody making the play, or can't be the same players making the plays every time. So second down here for Phelan Academy. After the incompletion, high snap. That one over to Kalik Abel. Nice stiff arm there. He breaks a tackle. Dances to get past a few more. Nice first down pick up for him. Looked like it was a gain of about 20 there. First down Falcons. First down Falcons to, looks like about the, call that the 49 yard line. Or excuse me, the uh, 44 yard line. So officially in offensive territory Feels like it's been a minute since we've been able to say that for Phelan Academy. Able to put a drive together here. Some nice plays. Nice run, uh, catch and run there by Kalik Abel on the screen pass. First down and 10. One player in the backfield. High snap again. Taken by Johnson. Throw over the middle. To Howard, nice catch there for a pickup of another first down. Nice pass. Aaron Howard on that one. Nice pass there by Jaden Jones for the first down. Nice little play here for with Fadum. Yeah, Phelan able to put a little bit of a drive together here. Consecutive pass plays. Good to see. Hopefully build some confidence for the young quarterback as well. First down and 10. As he looks to uh, lead his team back into contention here, 36 to 7, our score. Just about halfway through our third quarter. Snap taken by Jones over the middle, looking for Howard again, but not, not enough on that pass, bouncing just in front of his hands as he went down and tried to make that catch. Second down and 10 still here for Phelan Academy. We saw in the first half, Coach, a lot of run plays. Now we're seeing a lot of pass plays. How do you think they're going to change things up here to keep the drive going? But I think you have to do you, you have to have those pass plays because you are behind. But you got to be very very careful here. I, I could see a draw here to maybe throw you off a little bit, but uh, I like the uh, movement of the offense. Yeah, Marquise Graham in the backfield now. He's had plenty of pickups for them. Just back there to block. Nice read there by quarterback Jones. And he is going out wide. He's got a first down and more. Looks like we might get a hold there on the line. Early flag. As we await our call here from our officials. It is indeed a hold on the offense. So another, another big penalty like we talked about, Coach, limiting the offensive capabilities here of Phelan Academy. Yeah, because now you mark it from the spot, and it's 10 yards, so it's almost, almost like a 14, 15-yard penalty, and you, you were at the 10-yard line, and it, you shoot yourself in the foot like that. That's not real good. Yeah, certainly penalties have been a bit tough on Phelan Academy today. But like we've talked about multiple times, both these programs are very young. So a, a, lot, a lot to learn here for players on, on both teams. You know, for as good as it feels for Greenwood Christian to be up like this and see that their plays are working, it's equally important for Phelan Academy to be noticing what isn't working and what they have to improve on going forward. As Jones under pressure there from McIntyre, able to get away from him. 
Oh. Pass intended for Draylen Vaden. Well, I tell you what, Dotson, uh, not Dotson, but uh, Bryant was fooled on that play. Fortunately for them, it was an incomplete pass, or they, that would have been big-time yardage. Yeah, it looked like he had Draylen Vaden wide open there. If he was able to make that catch, could have picked up. A uh, solid chunk of yards here. They're going to need it second and 25. Excuse me, third and 25 here now it's for the Falcons. Our PA announcer is over the top. Certainly. Get, love it. Got to love it. Getting the crowd hype on game one or game two. Excuse me, home game one. So third and 25 now. A little bit more than five minutes left in our third quarter here. Snap taken by Jones. Pass out to Abel just off the tips of his fingers, incomplete. And so it will go down to fourth and long. Schlichting on the defense, making the force the incompletion there. Fourth down, Falcons. Take a look at our schedule coming up here after this play. Fourth down in about 25. Certainly feels longer <laughs> it does, for it? the Falcons of Phelan Academy. Especially having broken such a long run there to be called back on the penalties. Nice punt there. Keeping that inbounds. Nice job going down by Domingue. Picked up by Goins. And he's breaking a little bit of a return. Let's take a look at our schedule for next week. Tuesday, a couple of volleyball games for you on Indiana SRN. Covenant Christian taking on Heritage Christian on Tuesday. Also, Purdue Poly taking on Central Christian on Wednesday. Volleyball action as well for you as Sheridan takes on Traders Point. On Thursday, soccer for you as Covenant Christian take on Chittard. And then next Friday night, football, Greenfield at Mount Vernon, Evansville Central at Evansville Memorial, Adams Central versus Covenant Christian at Taylor University. Heritage Christian is at Garen Catholic and Brownsburg taking on Franklin Central. And then college football for you next Saturday. So a lot of stores, games in, in store for you. And uh, you're busy this week, too. We got you kind of busy this week. Yeah, everything got me packed here. Excited to be getting some work in here as the season gets underway. And make sure you tune in to all of that action on indianasrn.org. So Dobson in the shotgun, drops back for a pass. Trying to break one across the or outside the middle there. Excuse me, along the sideline. Big run. Looked like he picked up nine or ten there. Got a late flag. Might have been some uh, contact out of bounds. Ooh. Yep. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense. So that will give Greenwood, Greenwood Christian some free yardage. They'll move up 15. That's a tough stop. I mean, the chain crew will learn very quickly to drop those chains and run. Yeah, definitely some uh, close calls there. Of course, players have pads and helmets on, but those guys on the sideline are unprotected. Oh, yeah. Everyone, nah. everyone seems okay, though. Yep. Dobbs in with two in the backfield and two out wide. Looks like we're going to get another timeout here. This one timeout coming the from Falcons. the Phelan Academy Falcons. We'll be right back here with the conclusion of this drive, or continuing this drive on Indiana SRN. Needing to hire someone to take care of your loved one when you're away? Maybe your family member just needs someone to talk to when you're not around. Why not contact Indiana Licensed Serenity Care Services? 
Call Angela, owner of Serenity Care Services, at 317-900-6202. Our team of trained and experienced personal care providers are licensed to serve seniors requiring companion care and light housekeeping services in Indianapolis and its five surrounding counties. Call us today at 317-900-6202. Now hiring qualified applicants. And we are back here, coming off the timeout from Phelan Academy. Just about five minutes left in the third quarter. Our score, Greenwood 36, Phelan 7. Greenwood applying offensive pressure all throughout this first, or this first quarter of our second half, the third quarter of the game. They take over after a punt, our first punt, our First, second punt that we saw today from Phelan is that handoff is faked, kept by Dobson. He's rolling out, looking for a pass, gets that one off, just off the hands. <laughs> uh, hands number 21, Wyatt Schlageter. Had a chance there, and then Kalik Abel almost with the interception off the tip there. Definitely could have been a moment, momentum swinger. Got a late flag, got an illegal man downfield. The lineman was downfield. So a five yard penalty, excuse me, five yard penalty there. That'll move the Cougars back five yards. The drive continues here for Greenwood Christian. Dobson getting the play from Coach. Both teams, two timeouts left. Both teams using a, a lot of timeouts early in the first half. We'll have to see that strategy changes. All teaching moments, those timeouts are teaching moments. So Dobbs in the shotgun, Dobson, excuse me, in the shotgun. He's got Goins back with him. Goes to, looked like that was gonna be Charlie Overton looking for the screen pass. But dropped in just in front of the line of scrimmage, so an incomplete pass and not a fumble on that play. Got to catch the ball first, then run. This crowd has not left. No, this <laughs> crowd is set to stay here until the end. Like we've mentioned a few times here, Greenwood Christian, their first home football game in program history. Everyone's so excited to uh, be part of the action. Very lively student section. Thankfully, no baby powder since the uh, first kickoff. First kick there. I mean, it was a pretty thick cloud. Certainly, and especially when you're not expecting it, and then <laughs> the wave just hits you. Yeah. And I sort of saw it coming out the window at first. Oh well, we got there's, there's a little bit there. of powder back there. All right, well, shouldn't have said anything. Broadcaster's curse. There is that one sent over the middle, looking for Goins. Unable to make that catch, a lot of contact in the air. Nice stop on the defense. So third down and long here for the Cougars. That was in stride. Yeah, no, great. Great placement there, just uh, couldn't bring that one down on the defensive pressure there. As Dobbs has four receivers out wide, looking for a pass, Br has some room to run. Br makes a couple moves and goes down. Unable to. Anthony Edwards on the tackle for Phelan Academy Falcons. So a solid pick up there. Fourth down. And looks like about five. Looks like they're going to go for it. Like you said, got to be aggressive. These young programs 
Got to get reps in just different situations. You know, the numbers are uh, 17 or 18. You know, you're hoping you pick up 10 to 15 people next year to continue to grow. Timeout, Greenwood. All right, so before we get that fourth down play, we got a timeout from Greenwood Christian. We'll take a timeout here as well. You're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN. Well, if you're not here in the stadium, you missed the wonderful sl Sleeping Beauty theme song during the timeout. You missed it. So coming back from the timeout there, Dobson rolling out, looking for a pass open, intercepted by number nine, Jaden Jalen Jones. Excuse me, Jaden Jones of Phelan Academy. Falcons quarter, quarterback and defensive back reading the eyes of the opposing quarterback there, able to come away with the INT. We talked about that in, in pregame, uh, how these quarterbacks are playing both positions, and, uh, you know, that paid off that time. And now we'll have to see if they can capitalize on that momentum as Jones and the Falcons offense take over. So first down and 10 for them on, uh, call that the 34. That's a good punt. Yeah, pretty solid punt on uh, fourth down. I mean, you, that interception is almost like a punt. So Effectively, you know, yeah. Effectively, it, it, same thing. Prevents some even better field position that the Falcons could have had. High snap there taken by Jones. Sent over looking for Kalik Abel just a bit behind him. So after the incompletion there, brings up a second down and 10. Seen uh, one thing consistently from the Falcons, lots of high snaps. Jaden Jones able to recover from a few of them and bring that ball down still find some plays, but definitely going to be something that I think uh, the Phelan Academy looks to improve on as the season goes. Just got to get that consistency down, and once you have that, it opens up even more time for your quarterback to find a read or just find space, as we know Jaden Johnson can run. Hands that one off to Jeremiah Thompson. He's still got room out wide after breaking a tackle. Almost picking up the first down. Gain of about seven or eight on that one. Oh, he steps out of bounds. He only gets five. That's tough. Uh, out of bounds earlier than he expected, so only a pickup of five there. Let's make some noise, Shooter fans. It's third down. So another third down and long here for Phelan Academy Falcons. Greenwood Christian trying to get their crowd hyped on defense. Run there by Marquise Graham through the middle, and he's got a first down. Number four, McCary for the Falcons, Marquise Graham. Right down by number 70 for the And exactly what you want to see, a nice run on third down and no flags on the offense. Able to keep that first down and keep this drive moving forward for Phelan Academy. So we'll see what if they'll just keep it on the ground here. 
About three minutes left in this third quarter. 36 to seven, still our score. Nice block there. Under pressure still was Jones, just able to get it away. Incomplete though to Anthony Edwards. And that brings up fourth down. Or excuse me, second down. Jacob Schlichting on the stop there for the Cougars. So after putting it in the air, what do you think we see here, Coach? I think you run the ball here. Marquise Graham has shown us multiple times he's able to pick up big yardage as he gets another opportunity there, and he's got room to run. Miz the tackle there from Overton. Dodges around another one, a spin move, keeps him up. Miz the tackle, he's still going. Still takes three or four guys just to bring him down. Marquise, Gra Marquise Graham, what a run there. So, Coach, you called it, keeping it on the ground, and the Falcons do just that huge pickup there on a first down. First down to the Falcons. It's their third first down of the drive. I believe that's their yes, sir. longest drive so far this game. Phelan, of course, scored on just their first drive of 45, or excuse me, their second drive on a 45-yard run, got most of it. As that one's handed off to Jeremiah Thompson on the outside. Blocker there, pulled by his jersey, still running. Nice job there to stay up. Jeremiah Johnson fighting for every single yard there. Honeycutt finally able to bring him down. Saw him hanging on by just the uh, end of the jersey there. He was on, he was there for the ride, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. He was uh, long. Definitely wasn't going to lose him. Wasn't sure he was going to bring him down, but he wasn't going to lose him. So second and short here. Getting pretty close to the end zone. You think they take a shot here on second and short? I think you're right. So we've got just two receivers out wide. Graham in the backfield. Excuse me, Jeremiah Johnson, who will not keep it. Jaden Jones on the keeper. He's got room on the outside. Pushed out of bounds just before the goal line. So another first down there. Looks like that was a designed run. Keeper by the quarterback. Just able to find some room and uh, get another first down. First and goal here for the Falcons. First and goal for the Falcons for the seven yard line. Let's go, Cougar fans. Let's make some noise for our defense. Jones keeps the ball yet again. That's how he was able to score their first touchdown as he tried to break another one. Able to pick up a few yards through the middle. Looks like they're just not too confident in the hands of their wide receivers, especially here at the goal line as time is winding down. We've got a player down here. Got a water break as well. All right, so we will take a break here. You're watching High School Sports on Indiana SRN. I'm Keith Myers, Vice President of Indiana SRN. Thanks for joining us. Do you know Indiana SRN broadcasts 350 games a year? All sorts of sports? Yeah, we do. Hard to believe, isn't it? Indiana SRN loves to put student athletes first on our website. If you're a business out there, we probably could help you too. Contact us at coach at indianasr.org. Grandma from out of state thanks you. Mom and dad who can't get to the game thanks you as well. In fact, our athletes watch the games over and over again. Our military has enjoyed the games as well. So sit back and enjoy the game. It's Indiana SRN. They say nice guys don't finish first. So maybe it's time to reconsider what it means to be first. 
just about being your best, but knowing you could be even better. It's being present, but respectful of history. You sure you want to make that move? It's donating something more valuable than money. It's believing in yourself and something bigger. It's coming from different families. We're treating each other like brothers. It's not just being a man. It's being a mason. All right, we are back. The player who was down on the field was Evan McIntyre. He was able to get up on his own power and jog off. Good to see that he is not hurt. You got to keep going. Great job there. And so here, Phelan Academy threatening the end zone. Handoff to Graham up the middle, stopped in the backfield. Nice stop there by Tyler Wiggin. Marquis Graham, 54 on the tackle for your Cougars, Tyler Wiggin. Luke Chitty checking in. Big goal line stop needed for... Greenwood Christian. They've got a lead to play with, of course, but when you're building the pedigree of a young program, good to see defense regardless of the score. See if we get a playoff here before the quarter ends. Snap by Jones. He keeps it, looking for room outside, and he stretches it. Oh, he steps out of bounds at the one. Just out of bounds at the one-yard line. That takes us to the end of our third quarter. 36 to 7 our score will come back as Phelan is threatening in the end zone in the red zone here on Indiana SRN. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at IndianaSRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more Follow us now at Indiana SRN. We're at the boots. And we are back here for the start of our fourth quarter. Oh, you're ruining it. I was doing the YMCA. Coach busting down the YMCA for us here. Wish we had a camera in the booth here. No, no we don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Casey, Casey digs the 70s. Producer threatening to uh, put Keith on camera. No. But. No, it's fine. We're fine. Hey, uh, talking about producer, uh, Casey producing today, Joel Muir's doing our camera work, uh, did a nice job. Got here early, set up, and was uh, very greeted by the dream, uh, the, uh, um, dream set up here for a producer. Center Grove. Jan janitorial staff did a nice job letting us in, and, boy, they, they cool this they cool this booth off quick. Oh, yeah. Got the fans going. On what has been a hot day out there on the field, not a lot of cloud cover. Supposed to, supposed to be partly cloudy, but those clouds really have not rolled in. Still uh, low to mid-80s here, 82. High got up to 85. It's Hoping it's starting to cool off for our players down there. So. 12 minutes, it's the start of our fourth quarter. Greenwood up 36 to seven against the Phelan Academy Falcons. Though the Falcons have a chance to score here. Hand off to Marquise Graham as that ball pops out and recovered by the Greenwood Christian Cougars. First play of the fourth quarter. Defense coming up big on the goal line stop there. How big is that? Absolutely, huge play by Daniel Honeycutt. Popping that peanut free. So now Greenwood takes over possession. That thing pop, popped out quick, didn't it? Yeah, it sure did. And they've got a long way to go here. 
But we have seen a lot of different facets of this offense working today for Greenwood Christian. Going to have to see if they keep it on the ground. Just want to waste some clock here with a big lead in the fourth quarter. Or if you try to showcase the young arm, maybe get in some uh, targets. The guys haven't seen the ball as much today. I have to see how the coach's strategies evolve here. So from the five-yard line, just about pre-snap flag. George Walls again on soft offside. George Wallace picking up another one. Just a little too excited on the line today is Walls. It's good that he's hyped to make the play, but you just got to wait until he snaps the ball, and then you're all over it. So under center here is Dobson. Two guys out wide. Two men in the backfield. Fakes that handoff to Goins. Gets around the defender. Howard br breaks packs another one. Breaks a tackle. He's got a lot of room to run down the sideline. One defender back just chasing him. Grabs the jersey. Unable to bring him down. Trey Dobson going all the way for the touchdown. Keeping it on the ground. What a run by Dobson. 90 yards. So a pair of 90-yard scores here for a pair of 90-yard scores here for Greenwood. That one by the quarterback. You this, see fake handoff. This is an option, and he just takes it. Yeah, great move there. It gets gets by Howard. Breaks a tackle from Jalik Jones and Jeremiah Thompson Boy, there. He's, he's got some speed. He sure does. Only uh, Jamel Johnson able to track him down, but not able to complete the tackle. Great run out there by Trey Dobson. So the point coming after here. Charlie Overton on for the kick. It was blocked last time. And flags. False start on the offense. So I have to march that one back. A few extra yards. See if they still opt for the kick or if they want to throw it. Keeping the kicking unit out there. Now with this 35-point lead in Indiana, the clock now will continue to run, uh, and except during injury timeouts and uh, timeouts. All right, and the kick now from Overton is up and good. Oh, my goodness. He's got a leg. He's got plenty of distance on it. 43-7 to seven now the score. We'll be right back as Phelan is going to take over on offense here on Indiana SRN. Burtner Electric Incorporated has been proudly serving our residential and commercial customers with quality electrical repair for over 33 years. We are fully licensed and insured in electrical wiring and electrician service packages. You'll receive a competitive assessment, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, first time or long time customer. We offer free estimates for any new project. Call our licensed and experienced electricians today. Can't make it to the game? We've got your back. Just go to www.indianasrn.org and tune in to all of the live action or go to our on-demand service and relive your favorite moments. And welcome back. Just about 10 minutes here left in the fourth quarter. Like Coach mentioned, a running clock now, so when you when you looked at this on paper, this game looked pretty close. Greenwood has just really dominated this game from from the uh, uh, from the, the front line and the get go. Yeah, absolutely. Really expected, like you said, a more even matchup with short rosters on both teams. Just you know, just being being tired. Like regardless of what's happening in the game, just for like all these players to uh, be 
I liked use the, using the phrase, they're pulling a double shift, really, on a football game yeah. here. Really impressive just to be out there that long, taking that many, uh, that much constant impact, that many plays out there. My respect out to all the players down on the field, especially on a hot day like today. Phaedon Academy will be playing next Saturday at 2 o'clock at Bowman Academy. Greenwood Christian is not slated to play again until September 10th due to the young season. It was hard for them to pick up some games, so they're off till September 10th. Certainly going to have a lot of tape to watch. That kick by Overton. Bouncing down, picked up by Graham. Graham down the sideline. He's got some room to run, breaks a couple tackles. He's still up, more, more room to run. He's got blockers, breaks another tackle. Still going down the sideline and eventually looked like he might have been pushed out, but he stays in bounds. Touchdown call is the call on the field. Marquise Graham. What a return there. Just kept going. Didn't matter. Plenty of tackles broken. Plenty of, plenty of blocks picked up. Great job by the special teams there. Phelan Academy picking up their second score today. He is winded. Yes, he is. Marquise Graham has been running all over the field today for the Phelan Academy Falcons. He picked that up at the 15-yard line, so that's an 85-yard run for a touchdown. Impressive return by the young man from Phelan Academy. So point after attempt coming here. So with Phelan picking up the score here, does that clock st continue to run still? Yes, because the, because the 35 point lead did come before that run. So it looks like they're going to go for two here. Down 30. Just about eight minutes left in our game today. Jaden Jones and Jeremiah Thompson in the backfield. He's got two receivers out to the right. Snap taken, looking for room. Offensive line keeping up good blocks, unable to just stretch it across at the goal line. Nice stop there by Greenwood Christian special teams. Daniel Honeycutt on the stop for the Cougars. And so we will await a kickoff timeout on the field here. So we'll take a timeout as well here watching high school sports on Indiana SRN. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. Welcome back. We are counting down to the end of our, er, getting down to the uh, end here of our ga game here between Greenwood Christian and Phelan Academy. Just 7.30 left. Coach, what have you seen today and what should these programs be looking to build on going forward if you're greenwood christian you got to be happy with the point production I, you know you, you've got 43 points on the scoreboard for fatem academy again two years in the program you, you know they scored first that's a good thing and so you look at all the positives you, you mentioned it off air that a lot of film work will be done in both of these programs to see what happens but you know if you're greenwood christian academy it's the it, it's the day of first uh, so it's nice that you win your first home game of your uh, of your uh, season 
uh, it's also known that you had you played everybody on your roster. I mean, you got 16 kids, and all 16 kids played, and all kids, all 16, all 16 kids participated. Played well. Yes, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the quarterback, and I'm really impressed with uh, the Gones kid. I, I, I think they they will make noise. And the cool thing is, they're only freshmen, and they're freshmen in sophomore. All right, so a lot of attack of offensive firepower to look forward to if you are the future of Greenwood Academy. Definitely going to be a program to watch in the next few years to see how they grow. So the kickoff coming here from Domingue. Kick caught by Goins, and he will. He's got room to run, plenty of room, plenty of blockers. Nice play there. Got his quarterback. Nice block by Dobson, and he's going to walk himself into the end zone. Touchdown, Nathan Goins, his second return touchdown of the day. Great replay here coming from our producer, Casey. Just uh, wasn't sure exactly where he was going to go. Saw he had tons of room to run. Trey Dobson running with him and making that last block. Great job there securing the score for Greenwood. 85 yards. So he's got back one to for back 85-yard touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He's got... A 90-yard return in the first half and an 85-yard return here in the second. Lots of scoring coming now after we had what felt like just a little break there. Yeah, we talked about 43. How about 49? Yeah. Pretty, well, they scored 50, 52 last week. Yeah, 52 last week and 50 going for here today. Overton ready for the kick. Pre-snap penalty here. Just waiting on the official word here. Illegal. It was an encroachment on Fayham Academy. So they'll move it up half the distance. Still have the tee out on the field. Yeah, deciding not to uh, push up the score too much here. Respectful move there by Greenwood Christian. Nice hold there by Dobson. A little bit of contact, and that kick's going to be blocked. No good by Overton. So lead stays at 49-13. We'll be back for the kickoff and the remainder of this game on Indiana SRN. Needing to hire someone to take care of your loved one when you're away? Maybe your family member just needs someone to talk to when you're not around. Why not contact Indiana Licensed Serenity Care Services? Call Angela, owner of Serenity Care Services, at 317-900-6202. Our team of trained and experienced personal care providers are licensed to serve seniors requiring companion care and light housekeeping services in Indianapolis and its five surrounding counties. Call us today at 317-900-6202. Now hiring qualified applicants. So we are back here. Greenwood Christian just able to extend their lead up to 49-13. Pair of long kick return touchdowns, 85-yard touchdowns. That time one brought back, another one brought back, excuse me, by Nathan Goins. Also, if you want to catch up with all the action on Indiana SRN, you can check out our website, indianasrn.org. We would be happy to do that. Don't forget to check out our sports page tomorrow morning as we'll have this score and a lot of other articles written about Friday night football. And we're hoping that you would enjoy that. It's on indianasrn.org. A huge thank you to all of our supporters online and our viewers on today's broadcast. Happy to be with you here. Again, I'm Chuck Levine with the coach, Keith Myers. Your first broadcast for Indiana SRN? Yep, first broadcast in the books. Feels good. We're not quite in the books yet, but I was definitely uh, nervous walking on today. 
Uh, you did a great job. I appreciate it. Thanks, producer, guys. Producer Casey did a good job. Joel did a good job. I want to thank the people back at the studios as well. Thank you so much. And You know, there are many games left of the season, and Greenwood Christian were back here one more time against Heritage Christian's JV team. I think that's in a couple of weeks. Uh, but what a great facility. Uh, as we were driving in, we all looked yeah, at each other, absolutely. and you even said, man, this middle school is bigger than my high school. I yeah, I from. mean, granted, my high school didn't have a football team. We had one athletic field. It was a soccer field, had a softball field on it for a softball team that didn't exist by the time I got there. Baseball went off, uh, you know, baseball went to play somewhere else. Just a very impressive facility here at Center Grove Middle School North, going to be the home of Evansville Christian football this season. Greenwood Christian Academy is appreciative of Center Grove to let them use this facility. Can you imagine this thing at night? I mean, the crowd that was here today, can you imagine? It, it would be doubled for Friday night football. Absolutely. It would be, I mean, it's it's already pretty full, but it would be absolutely packed, and no standing, no standing one's room only. Yep. Everyone has stayed here just about the entire game. Student section on their feet. Waiting the kickoff here from Overton. That one going back to Jeremiah Thompson. Makes a nice cut there. He's got a run by a defender. Nice job. Breaks another. Try to break, a, break another tackle, but wrapped up by the kicker, Overton. So a nice return by Jeremiah Thompson there to get the drive started for Phelan Academy. Brant Kininger blown up on the uh, hit there on the return. Flag down here. I think we have maybe a hold. Oh, no, you had a offsides against the kicking team, so we're going to have to re-kick. So a re-kick going to take that, going to have to take that one away from Jeremiah Johnson. It was a nice return, but walked back. We'll have to redo it here. Ball now is placed at the 40-yard line. So the ball moved up a little bit. See... Another nice kick there. That one picked up by Kalik Abel, and he goes out of bounds just across the 35-yard line. So that's where Phelan Academy will start their drive. How about the kicker? He has three sets of shoes out there. He's got a, a square toe, then he's got a normal half shoe. Now he's got, looks like he just put on another pair of shoes. Yeah, Gotta Charlie, love it when a catcher. Charlie okay. Overton doing just about everything they can possibly ask out of them. Kicking, we got kickoffs, extra points. I wonder if they have a manager just for the the shoes. Yeah, I mean he might need his own personal assistant here. Also seen him make some nice tackles and uh, pick up some nice nice yardage on catches as well. Lining up as both a or as a kicker, defensive lineman, and wide receiver today. Kind of a single sport, Bo Jackson. <laughs> and so here is Jaden Jones. He's got two receivers out wide. Back to block was Johnson. That one overthrown to Abel. Jacob Schlichting on the coverage there. Looked like it hit him. Almost off his hands there. I got to think that uh, the player of the game has to be, uh, it's co-players in my opinion. Dotson and Goins has to be the players of the game. Though the big boy, 
uh, also scored it, uh, with the defensive yeah, touchdown. Can't That's forget the 18-yard pick six by Eli Cheddar Cheese. I like the name. I, I hope he. I hope he gets to keep that name, Cheddar, Cheddar Cheese. With a last name like Cheddar, I feel like it's got to be. It's got to be. So just under two minutes here as our clock winds down on this one. Greenwood Christian up 49 to 13. One timeout remaining for the Cougars. Two left for the Falcons. That one handed off to Jeremiah Johnson. But he gets wrapped up early. Looks like that was, again, number 14, Charlie Overton. He's had a good Can't game. Can't talk about him enough. How about that? 5'9", 125, wrapping up a guy at the line of scrimmage. So you look at both of these programs uh, in a couple years, and I, they will be contenders for 1A. Absolutely. The, just the effort that we're seeing out of the teams here, the players just putting it all out there. Obviously for, uh, for Greenwood Christian, not having another game until later in September, definitely uh, you can afford to put it all out there. you got a long time to recover. Certainly showing all of their effort today. Hustle is the number one word for both teams. That one sent over the top. Nice Nice throw there by Jaden Jones and a great catch as well in traffic. That's Jamel Johnson. Nice catch there over the middle as he uh, looked like he was bobbling that one but able to control it and pick up a few more yards for a first down. Of course, the clock running, so just 30 seconds left in this one. We'll see maybe one or two more plays here from Phelan Academy. Jaden Jones drops back to pass, and he will go down off the contact from, you guessed it, Charlie Overton. So a sack, plenty of uh, extra points, whole bunch of tackles. Overall, just a very impressive day for Charlie Overton and the rest of the Greenwood Academy roster. So we have an injury timeout here, just five seconds left. We're going to stay here. Just a reminder to all fans out there to make sure you pick the trash up on your way out of the Central Middle School Stadium. We appreciate that opportunity to play. And they're going to let the clock run out, and that will do it for us here today. Final score, Greenwood Christian 49, Phelan Academy 13. In Greenwood's first home game in program history, their record improves this season to 2-0. Phelan moves to 0-2. Like we said, huge game today by the quarterback, Trey Dobson, and, of course, by the running back and kick returner, Nathan Goins. Bunch of touchdowns, very impressive stuff. Thank you for joining us here today for Indiana SRN. My name is Chuck Levine along here with the coach, Keith Myers. We'll see you next time. Have a great afternoon. Be careful going home. Thank you very much for coming.